I'll set, it up on, set up on Instagram, buddy. <laughs> I'll set it up. I'm going back on there. Like, you're, on the, you're the Instagram overlord. Oh, uh, man. It's so good. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Social media manager, Derek. <laughs> Derek, I'll, I'm consistent for a month, and then I disappear for six. <laughs> That's consistent, at least. That's how you win them. There we go. All better. Hey. You know, I was, uh, I think this weekend, maybe Sunday, I was going to add a couple extra things to the podcast, uh, like a yeah. little intro animation or something, or outro. We'll see. Let's see how I feel. Let me know if you can help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm getting uh, more comfortable with OBS and that shit, so I'm like, all right. Yeah, that and uh, maybe different layouts for different things, but, um, yeah. it's but one you, know, of those things, you know what they say. You go too crazy with like I've been on some people's streams where yeah. there's like every person that's like watching they have like a little like Pokemon or like cop like, like yeah cop there's a little dude like dancing around what's up we're live welcome to podcast fucking live right now we're bitch. live we were talking about people having crazy Pokemon bullshits on their stream yeah but that shit is so distracting I'm like where do I even look what at am I right? supposed to look at here yeah I'd always wondered like what is the like. What are you supposed to focus on some of these streams? Like, what is the clarity of these fucking streams? I don't yeah. fucking know. I don't know either, bro. I don't fucking know. Don't know. So, how's your week been thus far? Uh, Since last we streamed, it felt like we just streamed, like, yesterday, but we didn't. And it's been a long week. It's been a long but fast and stressful week because work's been hell. <laughs> work was yeah. murder, as Green Goblin would say. But how about you? Work is murder. Work is murder, uh, work is, work is murder over here, man. Yeah? Um, what's uh, What's murdering? I'm doing the second, so I did a, I've been working on with this one lady uh, who commissioned me to do like a lady. two foot, three foot watercolor drawing. I did the first one. She didn't like it. But oh, she no. Was, yeah. Wait a second. So Don't she, you like show her like uh, outlines for commission and stuff like that first before you get the green I showed her like an outline and, um, and then I just blasted through it because I was like, I got, you know, she liked what she saw. Yeah. Um, And then when I sent it to her, she was just like, ah, you know, I kind of want more of this and this. And I was like fuck but she was like i'll pay you for another one so okay went, all right yeah. well then, then no foul then <laughs> yeah no harm no foul no know? harm no foul so i'm doing the second one now and like i got the every i've been just checking in with her every step of the way like i send her progress shots and all that shit and um but now it's at the point where it's like it's like the drawing is done yeah and like i'm like really happy with the drawing but now i'm just like here you go. Watercolor. Here you go. Watercolor. <laughs> you never know what the fuck's going to happen every fucking time. So What do you I've do? Like, you like, do you put down the watercolors first or then the ink? Or... Uh, I haven't been Sabi? painting lately. I've just been painting. Like, no ink has been going on these last, like, probably like 20 pieces I've done. Uh, oh, yeah. My camera's all... crooked. <laughs> huh? Sorry. The chat was saying that my camera's a little crooked. If you look at my piano and stuff like that in the background, it's a little, it's a little crazy. Oh uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, it's off, a little off center. That's okay. <laughs> I was going for a dynamic shot, so you, you it's guys like can. A Dutch angle. Yeah, you can bite me. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we're, we're doing a fucking comic book podcast, all right? Everything's got to be. You know, I'm Dutch. dynamic AF. That's all I gotta no. say. <laughs> Who the fuck's watching this thing right now? We got, we got people watching. Yeah, that's good. Great. What's up? Great man. Chat. Why chat. don't you fucking chat with us? Jesus Christ. They are. Who's you just don't have it on your side, dude. <laughs> uh, I don't. All right, yeah, I you got to bring up the stream manager on your side. Bring don't it worry up. about it. Yeah, actually, you know what? I got a great idea. Um, yeah. I found a new overlay. I was going to use an extension where the words go over the screen. We don't have to do nothing. So you could just watch the stream and then you'll see it. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. dope. Because, like, to me, like, this looks like. I've been like, man, no one has been, like, talking to us at all. And no, they is... totally have. You just haven't seen any of this shit. <laughs> yeah. I've been giving those fuckers the business. Anyway. I mean, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you, you see that shit on your streams, though. Right? Yeah. You see... Okay, because you're using OBS then. That's why. Hey. Hey. Baby steps, ba man. baby. steps, baby. Baby, uh, baby. So, yeah. But so, I... you're working on this big-ass piece. Yeah. So I got the pencils down. Long story short, got the pencils down. The drawing looks great. I'm afraid to put the initial washes on because, like, the first like three washes you do when you're doing watercolor, they look like shit, and it's just like you just have to keep going. You just have to keep going. Persevere. Just <laughs> going. Like, dude, when you like, you should watch 
like if you're ever bored like we'll watch like someone do like a watercolor demo yeah and that first dude those first like two or three washes you're just like oh no this dude's a fucking hack and then it turns <laughs> it turns into like magic but yeah you know soup doesn't look pretty at first it's true you gotta stir it up true what about you bro delicious. uh i'm just working yeah, i'm working my ham and egg or nine to fiver and then and then some nine to five plus so i don't know it's just been it's been a lot of shit going on between like i was telling you off stream but um it was you know had um i had stuff to do around the house and i had extra work to do and then fucking what is it i at the same time i missed the gym i haven't gone to the gym at all this week i've been glued to my computer between streaming and working and shit and I'm starting to go crazy. I need it. I need that physical release. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Except you're like times 10. You go like twice a day and you like missed one day and you're like, I'm going nuts. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I did, fucking cuckoo. <laughs> I did two, I did two sessions on Tuesday the other My day. God. And I was like, this is <laughs> I need the pain. <laughs> pain is good. I guess you're feeling better, huh? Yeah, so I don't know. It, when you do weird shit like that, you work out for that long, you're just like, I feel wow, nothing. I, like, I feel nothing. Yeah, and like I'm so like like pre like primordial gel right now. Like, I'm, just <laughs> I'm, I'm goo, goo. But nah, man. I mean, can you um, what's been your uh, what's been your relief when it's like this stressful? <laughs> uh sleep, <laughs> sleep, and all that. What's up? Can you actually sleep? Are you a good sleeper? I'm a terrible sleeper. I'm a bad sleeper. Horrible sleeper. I usually have trouble sleeping, but I've gotten better. I uh, I made a change to my diet because I was like, man, I'm really having trouble going to sleep lately. Um, so I turned. I made some changes. I stopped playing fighting games super late at night because they could put my adrenaline level through the fucking roof. <laughs> it just is like you just put in your yeah. constant state of stress. For like, <laughs> yeah, dude. like even if you're relaxed, you're not relaxed because you're on guard the whole time. Uh, mm -hmm. But I started eating kiwis for lunch, and they hit me about the time it's bedtime. Or I was thinking about eating them closer to bedtime, but anyone who has trouble sleeping, drink cherry juice, and more importantly, eat kiwis. It releases, like, serotonin, and that's enough to put you to sleep. So, honestly, try oh. like try eating, like, two kiwis before bed or something and see if it works. Or really? eat two kiwis after dinner as your dessert. Yeah. Try it out. Oof. Yeah. Babe. I'm buy some kiwis. <laughs> you know, after eating the fucking uh, after last week's episode of the horrible fucking chicken sandwich a thon, <laughs> never forget. You know, I I, I want to go back. Actually, I think I'm going to go back to one of those episodes and clip your White Castle sandwich where it was like dangling Just, in the wind, <laughs> like really hanging on, vacuum like sealed, fucking bat grappling hook onto my finger. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. This shit was horrifying. That might be the worst fast food thing I've seen in yeah. the past five years. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Food, like cafeteria food, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just that say it's cafeteria be... food. <laughs> this shit was not great. Ugh. It almost turned me off of White Castle. In, like, I would have never eaten White Castle again after that bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to like tell them that next time. I'm like, Yo, you, you need to write a letter. It's like, your cheese stuck to your chicken. Yo, Cancel the, thing the came whole apart. chicken just line. Cancel bro. the whole like, chicken line. Just cancel all that shit. Save your company so many yeah. million dollars. <laughs> Return your patties. Don't <laughs> don't, don't do fuck it. Fuck that. Just make patties, bro. Just make chick. Just make fucking burgers. Yep. Return those chicken oh. patties. Oh so yeah. Gross. It's been hot. I don't know how it is in Chicago, but it's been fucking hot. It's like yeah, it's been muggy. High eighties, nineties, muggy as shit. Yeah. I guess you catch that because you're being right next to the lake, right? You can can you see the lake from where you are, or sort of, or if you go far yeah. enough, you can see the lake. Uh, it's like a thirty minute bike ride. Okay, all right. Take a we trip. biked out there once. Well, no, we biked out there a couple times. We biked out there twice. It's nice. It's really fucking nice. It's, Is that like your scenic retreat? Uh, it, it's what it was intended to be, but every time we've gone, I've been. <laughs> horrible mood really so, <laughs> it's like i'm trying uh, to enjoy myself fuck i know dude it's like you know when you're in such a fucking bad mood Foul. That, like, that, that rain cloud is over your head <laughs> yeah like, literally like the rain cloud is just over my head my girlfriend is just like in awe she's like oh my god this is so gorgeous look like, at this beautiful like, Derek. Fuck all this all everyone can it's die like, i wish the fucking godzilla would come out of this Destroy goddamn way to all of us <laughs> Sounds Everybody. like a really good outing. <laughs> yeah. 
the third time we went, we went and met up with like some like new people we met at a coffee shop, and that was nice. And there we actually, go. yeah, that meet, time was good. I was on my people. best behavior. Yeah, uh, I was grumpy. <laughs> But I feel bad. I gotta, you know, when you when you know when you fuck up with your baby cakes, you gotta you gotta run it back. So I'm gonna try and run it back. Run it back. You get progressively less grumpy. I feel like yeah. uh, I'm a victim of that too. A victim. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know what it is. It's just like you just get in that mood where it's just like you know, what? like I'm literally in front of like. Ocean. You probably need like vitamin D, and you'd be like, you know, you're chained into a desk, looking at your fucking computer or a piece of paper. Yeah. And. You know, you're cooped up and you're like, nah, nah, you're like out into the world. It's like <laughs> bringing someone out of jail. It's just you're not quite acclimated yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I need time to acclimate to like. I need time I to have, like, simmer down, like come down. <laughs> yeah. My big thing is like I'm trying to um, I'm trying to figure out ways to schedule in free time, hmm. you know, because like we'll wake up and she'll be like, do you want to go to the beach today? And I'm like, because I work at home, I'm like. Well, technically, like my in my brain, I'm just like every day should be spent either drawing or making some type of advance in art somehow, and all this other bullshit like going to the beach, uh, like all that is not gonna make me Picasso or like my favorite artist. I'm like James Harris to go to the fucking beach. He might like, go to the beach. You don't know. Ask him. Maybe he goes to the beach. He probably does. He probably he's draws like, at the beach. He's, he's the king of the beach. Human being. He's not so <laughs> bent on you know. Bent on destruction. <laughs> yeah. Spent on destruction and wanting to be remembered. I'm a yeah. piece of shit. <laughs> Trying well, to get don't. better at that. That's James Sharon's just drawing monsters. That's what he wants to do. And oh, dude, I've been going through his um his old blog posts. You ever you ever go to his blogger? Yeah. He just posts like his uh, ballpoint patch, uh, yeah. sketch. Like his sketch is real. Like his life sketch or life drawing stuff. You mean? Yeah, it's like life drawings and just like monsters and just like it's mostly like him at like cafe just sketching. It's so it's sweet. great. Life drawing, yeah. everyone, everyone. Trying to get better. Life drawing. Girlfriend. Oh. oh, okay. Let's see. Girlfriend, look how lovely this nature is, Derek. Wishing for old gods to come out of the woods and kill everyone. Yeah, that sounds about on. <laughs> sounds about <Yeah>. right. <laughs> That's pretty on brand. Pretty on brand. Um, uh, is that a recurring theme for you? I actually want to dig in this just a little bit more. Is that a recurring theme for you throughout like the years? What? You go out, like try to go out and enjoy yourself for the day, and you're just in a fucking oh, horrible yeah. mood. <laughs> the whole t- for at least yeah. the first, for the first half, it takes you like two hours to come down. I'm gonna. That's how long it takes me to come down. About two hours where before I become like a normal person. <laughs> yeah, it, it's gotta be. Like... Let the guard down a little bit, just peel it down <laughs> slowly. It's melting off your body. <laughs> it's... Slowly, it's slowly. It's like it's like letting like um like, like your a caged cat animal. Yeah, it's like your cat outside. <laughs> you're like. I'm just like, I'm just so on edge. I, I just can't help it. I'm like watching people have fun. I'm like, none of these people want to be anything. They just want to be at the fucking They just want to have beach. fucking fun. Yeah. They just want to have fun? You're wasting what the time. Fuck? These people have dreams? <laughs> they got like, their, no they got their gonna, ham and egger. No one's going to write in the history books like, John, man, he fucking killed it at the beach on September 23rd. He ate that ham sandwich at the beach. 20, you know? I'm like trying to be remembered. I want to be fucking, you know, I want to leave this earth and leave some things, you know, I want to be in the history books. So, you know, oh. it takes a while. It usually takes me exploding on, on my girlfriend and then she <laughs> feels bad. And, Great. Now I have to fix this. So now I have something to do. <laughs> right. There you go. You're creating your own problems and then the solution. Yeah. So it's positive, you know, I call yeah. that a go-getter attitude, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's awful. I'm trying to break the cycle though. <laughs> It's a, tough, it's a tough cycle to break. <laughs> it is, it I think is. the cat analogy is pretty on point. It's that's pretty fucking accurate. I think in another lifetime I was definitely like a rogue cat. Like outdoor, <laughs> you were an outdoor cat. Outdoor cat that like you know it broke its leg and someone like brought it inside and it's just it's like, like oh. <laughs> oh man yeah well what is it we've been streaming a little bit here and there. Mostly yeah. doing art streams and Dead by Daylight. I haven't really been streaming much else, and I think honestly that will continue. I think I'm, I think I'm done streaming fighting games for the time being. It's just uh, it's not a good thing to stream. It's you can't really engage with chat mm-hmm. per se or like look at what the fuck's going on. I mean, art is kind of similar. You can be like, uh, 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 but at mm-hmm. least you're not like the stress of like, uh, uh, you're trying to stay alive and you're like, uh, oh, okay, uh, you're trying to like think and respond at the same time. So, no, it's not not ideal, but. But yes, I've been enjoying myself doing the, doing the art stream. This last Sunday was a breath of fresh air. But uh, it went yeah. really well, man. You yeah. did some really cool 
Jones, especially that chick and that D cat. I like totally forgot about like D cat. We don't like, for- y'all forgot about D cat. Wow, I'm really fucked up then. <laughs> no, I just haven't seen him in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> Like, I'm like, dude, you should stream that shit more, man. Like, I was like, dude, I forgot how awesome that character design is. Like, oh, well, thanks. Like, yeah, bro, man. what? What? Bring that DK, <laughs> DCAT Sunday, dude. Like, Lazy Sundays. Like, I want to do a Sunday comic, actually. That's my end goal. Is I, dude, I was stream a Sunday to... comic from start to finish and go fucking look at it when it's done. Dude, three panels. Three panels every Sunday. Maybe. Dude. Maybe. Maybe I'll post it up on Webtoons. Webtoons. I feel like you could knock Sponsor that shit. out. Let's go. <laughs> this, this, this planet needs D-Cat and that fucking mouse, dude. That's right. Never forget D-Cat. <laughs> but no, no, I, what was I the like... mouse? The mouse's name was Limburger. Or, yeah, Professor Limburger. Limburger. <laughs> Professor Limburger. I'm a fucking so... genius. Do it. I like all right. seeing this shit, though, man. I like, I, I, keep, I like when I see like my friends. I'm like, oh, yeah. like I forget all my friends are like really good artists. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I'm trying to dust the cobwebs off Dan, too. So, But anyway. Yeah. But yeah, um, life has been hectic, but good. I can't complain. I can't complain too much. So I don't know about you, but <laughs> uh, I, I did spend some time this week getting ready for podcast items we wanted to talk about. The main event, uh, which we'll be getting to right away, which is fucking Resident Evil on Netflix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Suggested by the man himself right here. So uh, yeah. so what's your relationship with Resident Evil on this show? Did you just happen to see it on Netflix? And you're like, yo, let's watch Resident Evil. Well, like... I remember a couple months ago, somebody was like, Resident, Netflix just acquired like the rights to get a Resident Evil TV show and then a Resident Evil animated show. And then like... But I think it's one and the same because like when the, the movie started, it's like a, a fucking Netflix anime. And I was like, yeah, hey, it's a 3D show. <laughs> or is it like a horrible CG, like a Japan horrible CG show? <laughs> No, it's just like a fucking... It looks like the video game. It's like the, the It looks Resident like a really Evil. long cutscene. <laughs> yeah. It's a really it's long cutscene. It's a video game. It's just all the cut. You know how you can watch on YouTube, like I yeah. It's like here's a full cutscene of all the Final Fantasy IX cutscenes in a row. Or like yeah. here's all of Resident Evil Two cutscenes complete. And it's like <laughs> I want to watch Last of Us the movie too. You know? <laughs> Instead of playing the game, you just watch the movie. Yeah, which is kind of lacking context. And then this. That's basically what this was, and you know, and it literally made no sense. It made me feel like I, I when I was watching, I felt like I missed parts of the show. I was like, wait, what? yeah. I felt like I missed a scene or two, like, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, it was, was like it's only four episodes long. It's mm. it's. I don't know why this wasn't just like a movie. Like, like dude, I well, that, I was talking. I was watching it yesterday with some people, and we realized it's like it's four episodes, three, half an hour each. It's a fucking yeah. movie. They just chopped it up as a show. Is it just a? Movie. It's a fucking movie. <laughs> it's literally a fucking movie. <laughs> Like, Ooh, Claire with the red glasses. Their algorithm or something like to. It's less intimidating than watching the regular movie, I guess. Like people will binge a Netflix show. It's like reverse psychology. That's it's true. like, oh, just we'll binge a Netflix show. It's four episodes, That's whatever. True. That's true. But it then it's like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it looks better <laughs> than other Japanese uh, shows. It looks better than the Godzilla shit. But like this chick, she has Barbie doll hair. Like the skin textures are cool, but like the animation and the hair. They look like fucking Barbie doll hair. <laughs> like it's just. Yeah, that's so hard to animate, right? Like that's like one of the. Like, it little... is, but you know, you're gonna make that a 3D was... show, then make it a 3D, make it like really good. Oh, this part, <laughs> remember this part? Oh, of course I remember that part. That part made no sense. They have like no twenty thousand gallons of acid. <laughs> it's gonna look stupid. Hold on. Called on this horrible tyrant. This horrible, this is, horrible this tyrant. Is one of the worst looking tyrants. <laughs> Designs. Ever. It's like a goblin. It just he looks, looks like the Green Goblin goblin's. from the Ultimate Universe. Yeah. He looks like the Green Goblin, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, really? Like, the it's tyrant, like... every time the tyrant pops up in Resident Evil, you're like, oh, oh shit. It's time. <laughs> and, like, literally every every Resident Evil, every Resident Evil show, all these CGI movies, they mm. always follow the same story. It's the same yeah. fucking story every time. <laughs> it's like, it's the tyrant. In no you form got, two, yeah. no nothing. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get a, and I'm actually surprised he didn't have like four forms though, because the tyrant usually you kill it and then it mutates and then it comes back and you have to kill Not it. Not this time. Nope. nope. Not this time. I don't get to watch behind the scenes. Uh, what did so so you didn't so we both didn't fuck with this right? Like this part was cool. Did you? Like, I didn't fuck with the, this. 
Did I like the what? He's the Green Goblin. Look at him. Hold on. Yeah, he's the Green Goblin. He's also, <laughs> the guy who played that bad guy, first of all, as soon as he walked on camera and started talking about fear, I was like, yeah, yeah. he's turning into the tyrant later. <laughs> he's, this guy's yeah, a fucking know. turning yeah, into the tyrant later in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that dude's going to have a fucking claw coming out of his arm in like two episodes. <laughs> and his stupid weird heart thing it's, popping out of his yeah, chest. Yeah, he looks like oh, the Green Goblin. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I guess. <laughs> like, Look at his big ass goofy hands. He looks like a F Zero character. <laughs> so, so like Leon shoots this thing's arm off with a fucking sniper rifle. No, it was a that? shotgun. Was it a sniper rifle? No, it was a shotgun. It was a, it was a clean. It was a clean break too. It was yeah. literally like it got sawed in half with a fucking like met, like a surgeon saw or something. Yeah. The, it was like clean bone break and everything. This might they might show it here. No, they're no, not okay. going to show it. There's no. Yeah, they cut away. But There's like, one. <laughs> it's like uh, it's literally like like they got a bam saw and just chopped this dude. It's literally arm just off. like an action figure. They pulled his arm off, and that's how clean yeah. it is. It's like just like a perfect, whoop, perfect straight angle. Like it's... that. That took me so out of it. I was just like, <laughs> what? We just blew his arm off like it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, this is like so perfect. And I was like, what the fuck with a sniper rifle? <laughs> Yo, she's hot. She be clear. Yeah. Um. That that was that was weird, and then like the the monster like just smacks the the sniper. It was this it was like it was really suspending my disbelief, even for Resident Evil. Yeah. Where, like the whole end sequence, where like Claire probably would have died at some point. Leon yeah. definitely should have died when he fell like two stories and grabbed the ledge. He would have shattered oh, his wow. arms, would have ripped out of his fucking sockets. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, he literally holds on to a like. A, a guardrail and, that's a, oh the rope too the cable the rope, i got a good one at the end he, i'm like dude with what? the rope where he drops the guy he drops the monster man from the rope spoilers who cares this he drops yeah. the monster man he like disengages the cable and he's hanging from a cable like 40 stories up right 40 at least 40 stories Story. <laughs> up. and then like, he gets and then like it cuts to the scene later and he's on the ground how how do you fucking get down <laughs> did he have a like remote to lower himself Look at this guy's sweatshirt. Did he shimmy down? No, <laughs> like, it was forty fucking feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, that 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 they really were reaching there with those fucking suspending your disbelief shit. Um, is Palestine like a real place? No, <laughs> I took okay, some notes so actually. Big... I took some notes. Uh, by one of my favorite parts is in the opening part where Jill or not Jill, um, Claire is in Palamastine, Panama Stein or something. Yeah. It's like Panama, Panama it's Stan. <laughs> No, it's Panama Stan. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I need to look this up because, like, I've never heard of this country. Yeah, it's made up. <laughs> I wonder where Panama Stan is. I was like, where the fuck is that? Is it Africa? <laughs> no, it's in Capcom World. Because I know uh, everybody's, trying, I know China's been trying to um, move into Africa, and, but I guess so. Be, Maybe they're in Panama Stan. It's gonna be the next war, baby. I can't wait. We're fighting over land of Panama. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be fucking look at this, look guy. At this dude. Guys, hair. Like fucking yeah, I'm trying to get my hair like that. Right. Um, what is it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, th did you notice the kids drawing from the beginning of the movie? Yeah, it's like they're showing zombies. Yeah, wasn't that an incredible drawing? That was an amazing drawing for a kid that's for deaf a kid and mute. that's deaf and mute <laughs> and has probably no resources whatsoever. Yeah, he had no. I was like, how did he do that? Did he do it oil? Like, does it show at the beginning? Hold on, I want to see this real quick. Do they show this kid's drawing at the beginning of this? You had Netflix. Preview? I have Netflix. Netflix. I don't know if I can fuck with Netflix on on uh, this. Let's see. Uh, does he show Claire? Huh. Look at that, though. Look, look, look at the sweat. Look at the sweat. I don't I know. I thought this was... St I still didn't think the graphics were that great in the show, but... I kind of disagree. I, I thought the I thought the graphics... And, like, I thought it looked, looked like, texturally looked nice, but the animation and, like, backgrounds were really not so great. That like, is the weird thing with, like, the backgrounds. Like, the like, backgrounds look fucking bad. They look like... They just imported shit from a 3D modeling program. It's like, here's couch. Yep. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Hold on. <laughs> like the yeah, textures on his face and like the pock marks and stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Or when it's actually dark. But when oh, they're sitting in like the president's lounge in broad daylight, not so great. Yeah. Or like the monster man's giant hands. Like that house. Like what the fuck? This looks pretty good right here. Like I didn't like, dude, this part was so weird how this zombie just has like insane strength but insane dude, strength and mobility for a zombie <laughs> yeah 
Like this guy, come on, he doesn't look that good. Like this fucking hair. The dude kills that first zombie. He like kicks the zombie up into the air and it gets like caught. He's in the chandelier. (laughs) How does that happen? Yeah, I was like, like, what the fuck is going on? I thought it was like tripping balls on it. Like, Tripping balls when I saw that this room like I, know, I had to re- I rewind it like two times. I had to I rewind like, that part. I was like, wait, what? How did you get in the chandelier? <laughs> fuck did the zombie get up there? <laughs> oh, I'll, I guess these all these CIA dudes are like maybe. Really oh, there good. it is. There's the drawing. There it is. This the little is. kid's drawing who's like seven in Panama Stan in a bombed out village, making yep. an amazing fucking zombie drawing. Amazing drawing. Amazing fucking drawing, right? I don't even know what medium he used for that. What did he use? Yeah, what what did he actually use to color this in? <laughs> yeah. Uh it looks like like charcoal kind of, but it's not it looks like a fucking acrylic painting. Dude, this the village like is book. bombed the fuck out in the show. Yeah. <laughs> where did he get this? Yeah, stuff? I'm like, where did this kid get all the supplies to paint all this shit? You got that right. No, the kid was fine. He made it. But he yeah, put, put together he had plenty of he, apparently it's not that bad. He had plenty of time to put together a picture. Yeah, I guess, kid's uh, taking it. He's got a future. He's got he's a future. Mute. He's, he's not, not mute. Fun. He's just scared. I hated yeah. Leon. I don't I understand. Why. What was Leon's character in this thing? He just shows um, up. So here's the context. Okay, what do you know about Leon from Resident Evil, the games? He was fucking cool in Resident Evil 4. Yeah. And, uh, this cool this game is supposed... Or sorry, this movie <laughs> is supposed to take place right after Resident Evil 4. So yeah. I'm like, did Leon just take the jet ski into the helicopter straight into this movie? <laughs> like, that's where the timeline is. Yeah. And the very yeah. end of the movie, they they hint at Resident Evil Five. Like, not like it fucking matters, but yeah, they go to, when they when they when they go to Africa and everybody hated that game. Cause you, did you you remember the controversy with that game? It's like it's you're shooting. shooting black zombies. Yeah, I, was like, yeah, it's almost like I mean, you were shooting <laughs> Europeans in the other last game, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You shoot all these like Russian dudes. Nobody had a problem with that, but. That yeah. was pretty funny that they had to they had to go in and mod mod it up so you're only killing like one African every every f- out of five zombies one out of five zombies yeah. no it was more than one out of five one out of ten zombies is a black dude oh my god look at look at Claire dude this part's dupe also this guy would have totally been dead this yeah, there's no fucking, fucking way that dude survives the whole time you know how this facility like, where how did they hide this facility exactly yeah, exactly Wait, how where did they like put in the orders like we need um. 20 trillion tons of sulfuric acid, 20 gallons, yeah. 20 billion zillion, <laughs> tw- need about 22, metric. Tr- yeah, metric shit ton of uh, sulfuric acid, please. It's like, okay. On top of that, uh, like, is this a, T-virus. is this what, <laughs> what's that? Lots of T virus. Yeah. We're yep. going to need uh, a bunch extra, of extra T virus. <laughs> this is like two hundred corpses. Like, corpses in there wasn't this like not that far from the white house this gigantic fucking facility was like at the like air base the white house. <laughs> or something ridiculous like that yeah None, the plot, i thought she was easy because they kept losing the red herring of china it's fucking china china wants yeah. to do zombies it's all china it's all china's fault it's fucking china's i was like who's i was like who is writing this movie is this like a propaganda Japan. movie <laughs> yeah because <laughs> like it's like weird because it's like it's got like um it's trying to be like China's the evil. So I'm like, yeah, China's this is, the bad guy. This is made by a Japanese company. company. So like, yeah, think... the, it's all a ruse. It's like China's the bad guys. Actually, it was the American senator or something like that. Yeah, it's like the American. It's like uh, Senator Asshole. This guy. This, this, this guy who I have no idea who the fuck That's that the president is. from Resident Evil 4. You know, I was a little disappointed that the president's daughter didn't show up from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, that's right. Where she was Ashley? Hmm? Fucking ass to keep alive. Yep. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to put that shit on after we're done this. <laughs> I do it, man. But, uh, um, yeah, okay. So, I think we aired most of our grievances with it. I don't have much good to say about this, honestly. <laughs> I think I it was a Resident Evil thing. It was okay. It was, uh, at the end of the day, what? compared to other bullshit on Netflix, it was okay. It was a, yeah. it was a two-hour thing I could watch. But yeah. that's not an endorsement either. It is a thing. <laughs> it is a thing, and I watched it. It's about on par with any other Resident Evil CG movie. It might yeah. be even better than the Resident Evil. Actually, you know what? I take that back. It's not better than the live-action Resident Evil movies. At least they're funny or entertainingly funny. Yeah, this seven. Is... You no, know, it's not good. Sorry, I <laughs> yeah, it's... it's not seven. No fucking way. They must have got paid. They got they paid. Def- Turn that seven upside down. Oh, and it's the chick from Resident Evil Eight for some reason. Uh... Yeah, I watched that 
whole fucking movie. You watched that oh, movie game? <laughs> I watched this one too. Wow, you're just know. watching video games. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I'm out here procrastinating hard, baby. Procrast- um, you're watching a whole fucking video game. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I I would say the the gore is kind of cool. I give it that. Yeah, like, sorry. Geez, the gore the- is pretty sick. Um, they ruined Leon. They I don't know. Why Leon didn't they- have a character. He was just there. Like literally had zero character. Even but less like, than the game somehow. But like, why? Oh, it's season back? one. There's another season apparently, or they're just fucking oh. with me. They might be fucking with us. There's no Probably way they're gonna. Oh, maybe they are. Kids. Kids. Um, I didn't like that he like didn't like. Why is he trying to stop? The there he tiger? goes. Oh wait, maybe we can get a good uh, good shot of the arm there, sort of. His arm. Like, why is he trying? Why isn't he like letting this dude go up there and expose what the U.S. is doing? Like, why I don't is know. He... That's a great question. Also, this Dude, part was totally unnecessary. Where he's melting. Oh yeah. Why? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh cool, we're gonna get his second form. Yeah, but exactly. No, he just melted and kept saying fear. It was like, all right, dude, you're fucking boring. Okay. I know, I get it. Yeah, oh, no, there's the president's like, daughter. His um, the his whole daughter. feel oh, there she on is. like fear and how it spreads. And I was just like, all right, stop saying this. I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's a you're, you're talking about viruses. I get it. You know, Resident Evil viruses. I, I understand. Um, I that was a great. It. Right there, by the way. <laughs> when you fight, um, you fight Nemesis. Nemesis. Like Last form. form, who's a giant fucking monster. See, I kind of oh, wanted... Panamistan. <laughs> Panamistan. 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 <laughs> to be a uh, Black Hawk down with Resident Evil. You know yeah. what I mean? It was more like uh, Olympus has fallen, Resident Evil, but worse. Yeah, for like two fucking seconds, I was like, dude, let's go. I'm down for this, like. <laughs> Yo, have you seen Black Hawk Down? That movie's intense. It's very intense. That movie's so this intense. This guy <laughs> is terrible. So zombie. what were the set pieces in this? It was the White House. It yeah. was Panamstan. It Panamstan. was a submarine. submarine. It was an under. It was an underground facility, as every Resident Evil has. Uh, they went to China. They went to that weird place in China. They went to it? China for some reason. Look at this asshole. Yeah, look at that. Where the fuck is that? Tricell, that's from Tricell. 5, yeah. If so you watch the game, uh, Tricell oh. must be the new, um, uh, what you gonna call it? They're like just the guys who are like a bio weapon group who just make bio weapons for profit, or like no, they're no. like they're like a paramilitary group for bio weapon. I don't fucking remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no one even really likes Resident Evil Five that much anyway. Look at this. I like that. I remember blasting through it though. It, it was, was fun. Like, oh, I played it through. It's just like it was like a less good Resident Evil Four. I think the co-op yeah. shit made it kind of annoying to play. If you didn't yeah, have a friend, that game was not that fun. You had to switch characters like in the middle of battle, like all the mm-hmm. time. And your other character would just become the Get, CPU. Yeah, and then when the character's CPU is not super useful if you're playing. Yeah, like, I'm like, why is my character dying? Oh, because <laughs> you sucks. So then you have to switch back and get your character unkilled while your other characters. Being, it was so annoying doing. Yeah, that. it was still a good game. I still think overall it was a good game. It just was not as good as four. Just I didn't like the virus because it turned out like all the monsters you fought in that game were just like worms. Yep. You know, like, they're just like bleh, 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 like little yeah. wormy leech guys. Oh, yeah, that's that guy. Really like that. R.I.P. guy. Hold up, real Hold quick. Up. Um, a cool fucking boss scene in uh, RE5 is that dude that turns into the Kraken. Oh, you know, that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so dope. The Kraken dude is. All right, let's awesome. see. Oh yeah, Not... Chris Red. Yeah, you're playing Chris and Shiva in that. I wonder. I, th- I feel like Shiva will never appear in Resident Evil ever fucking again. Is she in the movies? Because that dude I is. seriously doubt it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that shit. Look at Jesus him. Blast Christ. him. That shit is so gnarly. All right. Something's happening. Ouroboros. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the Ouroboros. Big man, Manji, Chainsaw, Majani. Oh, uh, yeah. This guy's fun. Those dudes are cool. I don't it's even remember half the shit. Do I feel like, did I like forget about everything in this game? Holy fuck. <laughs> You fight Wesker at the end of this, too. Yeah, Wesker's the final boss. Oh, yeah, this guy. The flying guy. That was kind of annoying. Flying uh, bat thing. The Batman. Is this it? No. No, that's a giant giant motherfucker. I think it's Irving. Yeah, that's this thing. There we go. I thought this fight was kind of annoying. Also, this guy. (laughs) Such a funny model for this dude. I don't know where um, who he's based on, but he reminds me of some actor. He looks like Jesse from Breaking Bad, but like... On crack or more crack. <laughs> Got that brig. This is what I would do, dude. This is how I'm going out. I'm going out as a fucking monster. I don't care anymore. 
he looks like Tetsuo, kind of. A little bit. He's just a fucking weirdo. <laughs> this is how I want to go out. As a giant monster. <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh, it's so gross. Ah, fuck I don't me. understand where all this shit comes from. <laughs> like, is it just a cancer or something? Where does the matter come from? I have no idea. It just... Oh, no, it's like fucking Tetsuo or something. Tetsuo! Okay. So he turns into a giant fucking monster inside this thing. Giant Kraken. He's a Kraken, and you have to blast it with your artil artillery. That's right. I remember now. Yeah, it was a good fight. Yeah, it was all right. It's not good bad. Boss. It was a good Resident time. Resident Evil always these these bosses in it. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Resident Evil bosses are really hit or miss. It's either like totally shitty or really cool. <laughs> it's yeah. Or like incredibly easy. So we'll see. Look at this guy. How is he even human? <laughs> There's no uh, fucking he... way. The hair looks way. Oh, worse yes, the UB. Well, it was that Xbox generation or whatever. I hate this fucking fight. Yeah, I love me some tyrants, baby. Let's go. Yeah, there's no that shit doesn't make any sense <laughs> from a biological standpoint. It makes no goddamn sense. Would you be a tyrant? No, <laughs> I'd rather die. Because <laughs> what are you supposed to do if you win? You just defer a fucking freak the rest of your life. Yeah, but it's like I, can't go to the store I, after that. <laughs> like, <laughs> some of them seem to be able to control it. Like I think like one in every. 100 people can control like the transformation. Oh, what's this fucking guy doing? Oh, this is I don't remember. Oh, he turns into a fucking freak. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. this thing. I hated this boss actually. He was fucking annoying. I know it was so bad. I was like, this is like some weird, uh, dead space looking shit. Yeah, I didn't really play dead space. It looked cool. Oh, shit, what? Jill. watch out. <laughs> we really tuned dead. in at the right time. Dead space is great. It is, oh, yeah, it looked oh. cool. Yeah, Jill's in this. I thought you played this game. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, t like 20, years years ago. Ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Then you have to use an orbital satellite to fight this big motherfucker. I uh, think that was the, like, the crazy chick. Turns into this giant fucking monster for some reason. Oh, yeah, the hot, the hot chick. With the yeah, bun. the crazy Italian chick with the bun or something. Oh, the dead. Yeah, there oh, she yeah. is. There we go. Yeah, let me see this. Let me see this. Excel, what, like, what kind of name is that? <laughs> yeah, let's see what you did yeah, to yourself, Capcom. bro. Look what, what you, you did now. They don't ever show titties, do they? No, Evil. not in Resident Evil. <laughs> Wesker! All right, well, we know what happened. She turns into a giant monster. Great. Well, the name Evil? Resident Evil. Get the... Aw, oh, man. Nah, you know what happened. We all know what happens. I want to see Excella turn to, from... To, to a monster? To the... They just they do it off camera. She just turns into a Beauty big freak. Beauty to the beast, baby. <laughs> Did you watch any of these Resident Evil movies ever? The Milia Jovovich ones? I watched one, two, and three. I That's think. a lot, actually. Even though there's like eight or something. There's like eight movies, and I, I don't think I can take any more. Look at this. Look at this. You maxed out? Look at this. Yo, look at him. Ada Wong. Is that Nemesis? Uh, no, it's the Johnny dude. How'd he get here? He's a regular from Resident Evil 5. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's fucking Wesker. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I guess that's Chris, and that's uh, Milia. Oh, uh, these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> it's the final chapter. I guess it's yeah. the worst one, or the this best. One the jump cuts. It's like, I think it's used the most jump cuts ever in a movie. In a hit movie history. Is there like a jump cut like every like 10 seconds or something? <laughs> yeah, especially when there's like fight scenes. Whoa, look at this giant fucking bat. Jesus. I I watched the first I watched part of the first and then I watched the second Resident Evil where it's like where Mike Epps is in it. Do you remember that? Mike Epps is in oh, Resident yeah. Evil Two. <laughs> That's the last thing I saw of Mike Epps in was Resident Evil Two. No, he's still going, man. Mike Epps really? still going. He yeah. fell out of the limelight big time then. What what happened to him? What's he doing? Mike Epps is still going strong, baby. What's he doing? <laughs> um he does like uh I, I think he's like a TikTok guy now or something. What? I know he's still <laughs> and shit too. Oh, oh, this guy. He was in, um... He was in, uh... Is this Dr. Birkins or something? Something like that. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Yeah. I think Millie Jolie's entire career has just been Resident Evil movies after a certain point. <laughs> like she, yeah, she's married literally, to the director. Yeah, not you, Bull, but who is the guy? He uh, did, Paul, um... Paul W. Anderson. Yeah, that's right. Paul W. Anderson. Something like that. So wait, oh. the zombies spread across the entire planet or something? Negative side effects. The uh, yeah, so the wait. outbreak takes over the whole planet basically. Oh, after shit. like, I think Resident Evil Three. 
They really fucked up this time, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, there's, I can't believe there's like eight of these movies. I actually want to watch them all. Now you want to watch them all? Look at fucking Wesker yeah. just be like, whoop, just put the shit in his neck. That Wesker shit looked terrible. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> so wait. Like, Yo, it's Evil watch- Jill or yeah, all those leather. Why did why in action movies are they like we need leather? Like everybody that has to be Looks badass cool. has to be wearing leather. I well, don't get it. Let's look. These are all the costumes from like Resident Evil four and five. So it's like no, no, it's not. Yeah. None of this shit shows up in any. No, it is. This that's Jill's costume from Resident Evil five. That's <laughs> Ada from Resident Evil four, and that's Leon from Resident Evil four. <laughs> you recognize that shit? It just looks whack in real life. It just looks whack in real life. Because <laughs> it's just regular fucking it, people actors. Look at fucking Wesker. Wesker's, Wesker's fucking feeling it. <laughs> He's got a wetsuit on? Something like that. Jesus. Look, at them. they're about to go to town on these fucking zombies. Oh my god, yeah, there's about to be so many zombies. Look at this. <laughs> That's cool. I guess that was, that was- Chris. Yeah. So have you like watched oh. all? So you, I didn't realize you watched these games. Like you watched Resident Evil Eight. You probably know more about Resident Evil Eight than I do. Uh, like, what, have you? Do you know the like? Have you watched or at least experienced the games in some way from start to finish? Uh, the games? Yeah, well, yeah. I only played four and five and six. Oh, I didn't play six. It looked shitty, but I uh, was six. Six is. I returned it. It was so bad. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, I played the demo. I was like, this sucks ass. Like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this game. This game is terrible. They got such such bad reviews. They like quickly were like, "All right, <laughs> everyone's Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> the basics for Resident Evil Seven. Oh, it's that dude. Who is that actor? He looks so familiar. I've seen him in so many things too. Uh, who is that? Uh, that's not the that's not Michael, is it? From Prometheus? No, it's not Fassbender. Oh no, oh. Wesker. <laughs> what happened? I didn't know they did that. Retribution. Wait, she still has the same outfit? Retribution. She has like superpowers. Yo, she's got umbrella eyes. <laughs> oh, Michelle Rodriguez. I wonder what she's been on. Oh, it's evil bring... Jill. Jill. It's evil fucking Jill. Jill. Oh, yeah. It's fucking Jill, that? dude. I don't know. It's the fucking alien on her, <laughs> her chest. Five, right? Five, yeah. Evil. What the hell is going on? I guess all, those dudes, all those people are all from Resident Evil 1. Forget him. Really? Yeah, uh, the oh, whoa, <laughs> that looks so bad. Oh my god, got him. That looks so <laughs> bad. So you remember how it? Which oh. part? Oh, See? Oh man, got him. <laughs> Fucking got, got him. him. <laughs> got him. Fucking got him. Who's playing Claire? She looks familiar. Oh, I guess everyone's dead. <laughs> Yo, it's Leon. Look at, look at how <laughs> bad Chris looks. No, that was Leon. That was Leon. Leon, Leon looks terrible. How do they like integrate the real Resident Evil characters into these movies? Oh my god! Yo, look at is Ada. The, is this the 3D one? Maybe. Yo, look at Wesker. <laughs> oh my god! These how do they get? How does Wesker show up in this movie? He has nothing to do with it. Um, he's he's in the you know games. Well, no, I know that. I'm saying like how, he he just shows up in the movies. Like Ugh. how do they explain him? Jesus uh, Christ, what the hell is that shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, she's fighting Jill. Jill. It's a femme fatale fight. It doesn't look like Jill. It looks like fucking Samus. Uh, Samus? <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. Samus. Is that Barry? Oh, wait, are there zombies chasing them in a truck? I think so. Is that Chris, uh, what's his face? Ada looks very... Ada looks all right. Yeah, that Ada looks fine. Right. That looks Yo. like a really good cosplay. Of yeah, it's a great cosplay. <laughs> I might have seen better cosplays uh, in other, like, at a fucking Asian. convention center floor. I mean, oh, yeah. her name is Ada Wong. All right, Extinction. Is this the one where the Earth blows up and she's this wearing, is the like... the whole Earth is, like, a desert. Really? She looks cool as shit in this one, though. It's she's like wearing, Mad like, Max. Stock, Mad Max with stockings or something. Yeah. Look what they did. They fucked up big what time. Look the world. Look what, what happened. The whole Wow, did they really do that to the world? They turned into a giant desert? Look at the fucking planet. How the fuck did they get out of this? <laughs> how did they fix the planet? It was like, how the eco- it would have been like total collapse of this ecosystem. Yeah. So it's Mad Max versus Evil, huh? And that's, look, like, that's her using her superpowers. What? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Mike Epps. I guess, baby. Damn well that you were infected, because instead of coming clean, you took See? 
Oh no, Mike Epps is a zombie. Well, Jack Mike Epps turns to a zombie. Died in that tent, didn't he? No. <laughs> is this Resident Evil 3? Hey, what's up, Danny? How you doing? Up, she loses Danny? her powers? How does she lose her powers? Uh, I forget. But she ends up having powers, which is kind of annoying. I thought and she always had powers since day one, or she get like Super Saiyan powers. She gets like telekinetic powers. Wait a second, who the fuck is she fighting? Is that a tyrant? <laughs> what the fuck? Like tyrant, baby. Ooh, all right. Fighting that tyrant. Look at that dude. That tyrant looks dope, though. <laughs> Man, that looks sick. I think the seatbelt saved her. It is a tyrant. Wow, it is actually a fucking tyrant. Looks like a real tyrant. Yo, the 3D one. <laughs> 3D one. Did you actually yeah. wear your 3D glasses for this one? <laughs> I think I, I think I saw this as a bootleg. You saw this as a bootleg. Good shit. Yeah, I think I bought this at like a barber shop. Oh no. DVD. Oh, I like the power ponytail. It's pretty good. I like the. I'm a big fan of the sporty ponytail. I love the sporty ponytail. Thumbs up. Uh oh. What the hell happened here? <laughs> what, <laughs> what did she do? What did she do? Is this Resident Evil Kira? Look, see, this is a great example of what you said earlier. How, like, when you use 3D, you can't put... There's only so many limits. Like, you can either have a city <laughs> with no people in it, or a scene with, like, a bunch of people and no background. You have to choose. So, wait, you at the end, they give her the oh. antidote to the T-cell viruses. Damn, I guess she's just not a superhero anymore. How she what fight Wesker, then? I guess she just blows him away. What? So wait, is this before or after they turn the world into a desert? <laughs> Something. This must be the one before. Okay. Shooting the, shoot. shoot the shit. So is that Claire? That's Claire and Chris, right? Yeah. Dude, you know what? This Million. is new. I hope. I'm gonna watch all these fucking movies. You're gonna watch all these fucking movies. <laughs> do it. Look at that Wesker. Oh no, how's he looking? <laughs> Wesker literally oh, crashes God. plane to the side of a cliff and he's okay. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Wait, what? Did he inject her with T-cell stuff? What's going on? How many movies were Wesker in? I thought he was just in like the one. I guess he was in three. He's in a bunch. Yo, he's... She's going to need to reload those revolvers oh. really soon. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking zombies here. She's shooting zombies in the chest. and you can't. That doesn't do Brr. shit. You got to shoot him in the fucking head. Man, this one's a weird one. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is a solid. I kinda like this one. It's solid. I like this one. That's good fun. It's kind of like reminds me of Saw 1 or something. You know who was originally supposed to write and direct this? Nah, who's that? Fucking George Romero. What? <laughs> yeah, then they fired him. <laughs> oh, he gave her what? Took away her powers. Oh, okay. All right, that Wesker, man. Wesker. Wesker, when will he stop? Oh, this guy's a piece of shit. Oh. I'm trying to see who I recognize actor-wise. Oh, so, yeah. What happened to her, actually? Yeah, yeah. She's in all the fucking. Um, oh yeah, she's still in all the fucking Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, <laughs> You're going to see still... Fast Ten, the evil John Cena one, or whatever Fast Nine. I gotta watch all the fa Fast and Furious movies <laughs> and watch all of the Resident Evil movies. Please don't tell me we have to watch Fast and the Furious next week <laughs> for talk about it next week. <laughs> oh, let's do it. I want to oh, see no. it. God damn it! Look at no. this. Look at this. The CG did all not. Right, oh yeah, there you go. Boom! Fuck that. Is that Chris Klein? Was he in this movie? Who? Uh, it's some actor who wasn't very popular. Oh, look at the Red Queen graphics. You're all going to die. Dude, how oh, did this God. come out after Jurassic Park? Xen? Yo, you remember the the soundtrack to this movie had like Slipknot and Mudvayne on it? It was like a it was like a new metal paradise. Oh, that's right. She did come back as a clone. The second one, one or second, uh, yeah. Who? Uh, I forgot that Amelia, whatever her character is, died in this one, the first movie. Oh, Mia Jovovich. She got that cool dress, too. Is the liquor, the liquor shows up in this, right? I think the liquor is like the big showcase monster in this, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that dude becomes a nemesis. Does he? Yeah. It's the fucking liquor, yo. <laughs> that liquor's gigantic. Huge. <laughs> it's a mega liquor. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There he is. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. That. Oh, it's there the you. Nemesis. They, yo, they did the Nemesis straight up in this. <laughs> yeah, they did it. Like that's the second movie. I forgot all about that. That Nemesis. Oh, I do. I did remember the. I, this is the one I remember the most. You know, yeah. I'm probably gonna be like, oh, I don't remember this. Yeah, she comes in the beginning. <laughs> yes. yeah. She comes in like a fucking wrecking ball. On a motorcycle. It's like fuck zombies. 
Jesus Christ. Get in my house of God. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I want to watch one... right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I want to do it, like, now. I was like, let's go. <laughs> Dude, this is the Red Bull speaking, like, Yo. or, like... Actually, Nemesis doesn't look half bad, even though Mikey he stands no great. chance against Mike Epps. He looks Nemesis all right. Nemesis is on par. He's like, he's actually, on you know par. what? I remember, actually, <laughs> when I watched this movie, I remember making fun of Nemesis because he had gigantic fucking platform shoes in this, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah like disco shoes. Yeah, the, the, the character design, pants-wise, wow. I look good. I forgot about <laughs> that, Danny. She was pregnant in this one. She did the last 14 stories running down the building. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> She runs down, Go the side of... runs down the side of the building pregnant. Melia? Melia. Yeah, they can't stop her. Mia? Mia Jovovich, nigga? Melia. Yeah. Mia. <laughs> Mia. Yeah. Look at all those guns. Guns on guns. Let's go. Yeah, guns. Mike Epps was like, come to collect. Didn't Mike Epps have some like funny, like, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Look, look at him. I can't believe the second movie had Nemesis. It was blowing my mind. Dude, she looks so fucking hot. <laughs> she's oh got, my she's got that pregnant glow <laughs> oh my god she's got the glow and she just came back from the dead and she's pregnant and that dude that's that's the dude that he's, got, ne he's nemesis he got he got slashed by the um the fucking whatchamacallit the liquor he got the licked liquor. wait is that the red queen as an actual the red girl? queen is that ada no that's <laughs> not ada angie what who the fuck is that is that Who's Jill? That? Oh, it is Jill? fucking Jill. That's Jill. Uh, That's right. I forgot Jill was in this movie. Jill looks pretty on point, Jill's too. not bad. She's all right. Yeah, yeah. Especially considering it's like Resident Evil 3 Jill. Yeah, yeah. I like that, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What's happening now? Dude. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this part. Damn, she did this pregnant, huh? Boom. Umbrella doesn't stand a fucking chance. Yo, you know how dead you'd be if someone ran down a fucking building and kicked you in the head? <laughs> I feel like your face would break and then so would their ankle, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's Jill, somehow. Was Jill in this movie? No way. Wait, who the fuck? Wait, who's in the chat that can clarify this shit that's happening right now? What is uh, happening? Is that Jill or... Don't you remember this movie? I thought you said you watched this one. Yeah, nigga, like... 12 years ago. <laughs> like, this and, like, superhero movies aren't movies you watch more than, like, once. Yeah, it's like, I saw The Hulk. I saw The Incredible Hulk yeah. one time. <laughs> like, I'm never again. I saw, like... the, I saw The Incredible Hulk, like, 40 years ago, and if we watched it today, I'd be like, ah, this isn't that bad. Okay. <laughs> I was like, damn, he really turned into the, uh, the fucking oh, yeah. big freak. Fuck that, man. Okay, that's, that that's... was clear. All right, all right. That's when you turn the gun like this. And you just pull the trigger until your fucking <laughs> shit stops working. You blow your face off. Fuck blow that. your brains out. How come no one ever just turns and runs? Like That's a great question. Just hide underneath the fucking cop car, man. I'd be like, yo, I'm just waiting for these dudes to walk past. Fuck this. Ooh. All right. Did you know about Ooh, the CGI movies? Yeah. Degeneration. Yeah, there's a, there's a good one. Um, the red bug thing on their chest control them. Okay, that's what I thought. It's kind of the same to the... Similar to the Degeneration. Game. Dude, 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 wait, wait, wait. Go down to Tyrant what? versus Liquor's scene. Oh, this is no. Sick. Oh, this is from fucking Damn Nate. There was like two or three yeah. other of these. The G-Virus mutation scene. We gotta watch uh, that too. So good. This is so, this fight scene is so good. Look how we got it's We got copped out of the, the Netflix show. They didn't have a good Tyrant. Not like this guy. This guy rules. I'm telling you, man. This guy, long cutscene. Is that Leon too? <laughs> that's Leon and like this dude that can control Liquor's. What is this guy like... <laughs> what is Nemesis wearing, or what is this tyrant wearing? <laughs> so the tyrant, that's like a suit that like keeps. Looks him like from fucking Frankenstein. It keeps him from mutating more. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I guess you need it. Must be hard to go to the bathroom. Well, but they don't have to, man. You just turn these things on and turn them off. So wait, that's this dude's cool. the liquor whisperer. Yeah. He looks like he's in a deep sea diving suit, or he looks no. like just Mister X Nemesis or something. That, yeah, he's. A wait, Mr. are they at the light? Where the hell are they? They look like. Uh... They're Washington D.C. where no one is magically around. Yeah, where'd everyone go? Yo, Leon's pissed boy. right now. Leon's so cool, but they shield him out. Boom! Right. Look how Boo. big that is, Leon. <laughs> we need Boom. that uh, 
Supreme uh, Belante. <laughs> Seen Blyantel, uh, brrr, sound effect. This doesn't look that bad. This guy uh, is... I think it looks about on par with the Netflix movie, just worse textures. You got, got liquors on liquors. The fucking liquors are just out in public in broad daylight. This looks. No. This is. Like something. <laughs> like Resident Evil has way more money than this. Like they, they can do better than this. Maybe not. But this fight scene is awesome. Damn, Nemesis is really fighting the liquors, huh? Oh, Oof, look got at him. That. I never understood. Are like liquors supposed to be just their own thing? Or are they like monster yeah. dogs? Or are they just human like, freaks like, with like, long like, tongues? Like, Man, these poor liquors. <laughs> this definitely looks like a fucking video game. <laughs> All right. Oh, you this never watched like any of the CGI stuff? One, There's like this three is like or a four of them. One cutscene. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I watched one of these CGI movies on Netflix. I think I was just bored one day and I just watched it. Or like, I think I was, no, I was sick at home and I was just like, you know what? I'm putting it on this fucking Resident Evil movie. I'm doing it. It wasn't this one? It was this one, I think, man. Yeah. Oh, boo -hoo. Oof. Ready? Uh, got my gasoline all over me because I'm an idiot. Yeah, Leon's like, you fucking idiot. Leon's like, you, sir, just saved me a lot of ammo. <laughs> or it's the, it's the liquor whisperer. No, it's Leon. <laughs> oh. This shit. <laughs> Yo, son, this shit is so cool, though. Bro. <laughs> it's cooler than anything that happened in the other movie we just watched on the Netflix show. Where, also, we need to pause once again. Where in the fuck are they? <laughs> Where are humans? I don't fucking know. Oh, you didn't see him transform. The super siren. Oh, uh, yeah. oh my there god. Oh. He's a super tyrant, dude. Retirement. We gotta watch the G Riders because all the movies just like they just redo, oh, they just redo yeah. like the things from the game. It's like it's the tyrant again. It's like it's yep. the fucking G Virus monster again of Doctor Brookins. Yep. Should have let him keep his cool jacket on. Now he's, a, now he's crazy. Yeah. Now he's fucking unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. And also like, fifteen feet tall. Look at this. Watch, Brian. Watch. Ooh. Ready, ready, ready. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, Did he stop on a dime? <laughs> this... No, no, there's, there's one where he catches it. He funny. catches it? He catches the fucking rifle. Yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah. Boom! Really? <laughs> I didn't know that, Danny. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? What? But yeah, let's see. The movie's got me to really like Emilia Jolievich. The last one where they took time off set when her stunt Ooh. double died. Damn. What happened to her? Was it a studio accident? Was it like a on-set accident? Yeah, or murdered, separate? Though. She got almost decapitated. Leon would be fucking dead. His back would be broken. <laughs> like he would be okay. iron cheeked. He literally Lodic, your fucking back. He threw him against a fucking concrete pillar. <laughs> volleyball smacked him into a pillar. Ready? This would be a good way to die. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. He punches you through something like that'd be great. The liquors are back. Dude, yeah. I, I don't know if I can handle this guy being a liquor whisperer. <laughs> it's, like, might be the dumbest thing I've seen in Resident Evil. <laughs> also, I don't like how Capcom is almost making us say something else. <laughs> <laughs> the liquor. <laughs> something liquor, else, huh? Liquor sounds very close to something else. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it could be worse. Cat. <sighs> liquor. Wow, I'm surprised they're giving this much away, much away on the Fandango movie clips. All right. The dirt Boom. bike scene? Damn. Come on, This man. guy got Stop. messed up. Damn, these liquors didn't do a goddamn <laughs> thing. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, that sucks. I know. They're filming yeah, somewhere in Africa, huh? I wonder how often that is a thing where stunt doubles actually, like, die? have, like, a, you know, a die on set or, like, during the Yo, filming. Look it up after this. It's, just, it's pretty gnarly. She got, like, almost decapitated. Wait. What, the stunt devil? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you knew about that too? Yeah. What? I don't know if I want to look it up. It's a little too grim. It's fucked up. I mean, it's, it, they did, like, the company did it, did them well. Like, Emilia Jones was I hope so. paid for, like, the medical stuff and all that. I'm gonna pay for the fucking funeral. I think she's, she's still alive, but she lost an arm. Wait, she no, she said, uh, Danny said that she, she straight up died. Did she die? I think she's she still died. Alive. I think she just lost an arm. We'll see. Oh, yeah, here we go. This part's pretty cool, too. Wow. 
boom. This guy is so bad about losing his liquor. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this so can't that's possibly gotta, be a good idea. <laughs> that's how you got to know how to use a tank just out of nowhere. Ooh, you or Leon? Ooh. Boom. That nigga just moved his head. He just fucking, uh. <laughs> he weskered it. Did, like, what's it called when you, uh, get out the way in boxing? I just thought you died. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, um. I forget. Oh. <laughs> I was literally just doing this a week ago and I already forget what's called. All right. Oh my god. It's not Duck, it's like something with S. It's, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see if she's alive or dead on that. I, I'll look it up, but I just don't want to look up any footage or something. It's kind of gruesome. No, no footage, but I don't want <laughs> Oh no. Sorry, you gotta Ready? kill Licker. Is he gonna get mad at Leon? That Boom! Blew his fucking Boom. face off. Beats the rocket launcher, I guess. And I'm uh, gonna run him over. <laughs> Jeez. You, you know, them running it over didn't really do anything. <laughs> not really. It's kind of like... <laughs> the engine was still running. Alright. Um, damn. I wish I had my phone in here. I could look it up. <laughs> oh, what's that? We can look it up still. He fucking lost an arm. But I could be wrong. It could be another stunt double. <laughs> wow, look at this video game ass uh, shit. This, actually, you know what? This is the one I watched. I watched this movie instead. That's why I don't remember the fucking <laughs> liquor <laughs> whisperer. Oh, the G-Virus is dope, too. I like the G-Virus. The truth. All these stupid ass Resident Evil villains always like talk about one word. It's like, I'll show yeah. you the truth, and the other guy's like, I'll show you fear. <laughs> I'll show you fear like you've never felt before. I don't even know what this guy's plan was, to be honest. It's like, well, uh -huh. I'm a freak. Okay, the stunt double lost an arm. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I guess it's better than. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I turned into a fucking. Fr another person died on set. Oh, really? Hold on. I'm gonna take a pause for a second. Ricardo Cornelius, 34, died on December 3rd from injuries sustained when a Hummer used in the film reportedly toppled and crushed him during Damn. the safety check. Shit. All right. Paul, <laughs> Paul, calm down. We don't need to yeah, do. We got Paul. CGI. We got. <laughs> God damn! Get your sets together, bro. Damn, that sucks. Dude, how much money would you need to be paid to what, out? Workman's comp. I'm sure there's a stunt double or like stunt doubles union. There's not this yeah, something to just do. Like, well, she just lost her career. Like, I, I guess she's gonna do like stunts for like one armed people. But how many one armed actors? You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, this guy's hilarious. Paid her out the ass. <laughs> This guy is so funny looking because he's like, he's, the rest of his body is totally freakish, except for his face is still normal. <laughs> yeah. That's what the G virus does to you, man. Nah, it, it made Dr. Birkins a total freak of nature, but. It makes your eyeball, for some odd reason, On a shoulder. You. you have a giant eyeball on your shoulder. Oh, this fight seems real cool. He kills the fuck out of all these dudes. Yeah, he does. I don't remember. I guess he gets back up and he transforms. For... No, he's fine. But look at him. He still looks normal. <laughs> guy. <laughs> still got his pretty hair. Oh no, I shot the shit at him. Yeah. Grenade He's launcher still... kill scene, wow. Great stuff. Good you stuff. Gotta love the, oh. uh, hey, <laughs> now you can go watch all the... Holy shit. They're so bad. They're so bad. I love it though. Vendetta, Vendetta. wait. I, never... I don't know if I know this Vendetta. one actually. There were three CG movies before the Netflix one. Yo, look at Le I think they all feature Leon too. <laughs> yeah. Leon's Mr. Action Hero in Resident Evil. Alright, oh, I don't remember this yeah. guy. There's so many tyrants. Like, there's not this Dude, many tyrants. Dude, I'm telling you, part of the reason why they film in other countries. Oh, really? That's why they film in other countries. Like, anything they film in Canada, they can't use their crew. They have to hire some unions up there. Huh. That makes a lot of sense. That's how the deaths happen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're trying to get around it by filming in other countries because they don't have the same restrictions or, like, channels they have to go through for uh, unions and stunt doubles and shit like that. Uh, Leon, Leon, you've played this game many times before. You should know that a regular old pistol ain't gonna work unless you shoot his weak point. Yeah, you gotta shoot the heart. Shoot the giant glowing heart. Boom! Shoot him in the dick. <laughs> he doesn't have oh, one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at this. Wow. <laughs> oh, he jumps oh off his. Oh, he rolls off his arm and drop kicks him in the face. Him. Good shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Leon He's is so dead. cool. Leon was dead. <laughs> oh, you didn't go through that glass? No, he hit the little thing, I think. <laughs> no, never mind. The glass broke his fall. <laughs> oh, yeah. That happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. I'd be like, yo, just 
kill me. <laughs> like, just throw me off the building or something. I'll pass out on the way down. <laughs> if, if me drop kicking you from six floors didn't do it, man, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. Watch oh, out. shit. You know, I love it. One thing I want to point out real quick. I want to pause for a second. I love the claw. The claw is cool. The one thing I want to point out here: the the new fucking thing we watched, the new Resident Evil show we watched on Netflix. Yeah. All the other tyrants and G virus monsters, all the other yeah. mutated monsters we've watched, way mm -hmm. better than what we got in that show. That yeah. guy in the show was lame. He looked like the Green Goblin. <laughs> he he barely like was almost. He looked like an orc. An orc. He did look like an orc. He <laughs> looked like a World of Warcraft character. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, yeah. uh oh, he Here fucked he up. Go. He's got two heads. He's got two heads. They're better than one. Who's going to shoot him up? Oh, she's got the oh, plasma. He's got, he's got the real gun. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, I love it. I love <laughs> it. That's what you have to use to kill Nemesis. In a... a rail gun? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, we Damn. just destroyed half the city. So I hope no one was in those buildings because they're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> Wait, that's all it did to him? Uh, just, <laughs> this bitch fine. can't aim. <laughs> Shoot him in the face. I don't Shoot know, man. It's probably hard. Shoot I guess he really doesn't give a fuck. He just got shot by a giant laser cannon, so I guess yeah. he can jump on his helicopter and survive a 50-story fall. <laughs> oh, girl, you better start charging that fucking thing for the second shot. Did I watch this too? This is all like blending together now. I guess because uh, all these movies end the same way, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this part. But oh there's literally God. all the fucking same. <laughs> I am totally going to rewatch watch this. Oh, so what are you going to watch first? The CGI Resident Evils? Wow, how does, how does fingers get that long? <laughs> where, where were they hiding those? <laughs> that's, like the, that's like the Resident Evil clock. In all I know, but like, where do they physically go? Like inside his body, where were they hiding? <laughs> oh, that's like Wolverine, baby. Did he just create masks? Like they weren't his forearms, they're bigger than his entire arm. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at this perfectly timed. Wow, Leon. He's going to kill everybody in that plane. <laughs> it's like, sorry, man. I mean, at yeah. the end of the day, if I was Leon, I would definitely kill them. I was like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and he's going to shoot the, He's going to shoot it in the gas tank while it's in midair. Oh, I yeah. knew it. <laughs> so I guess Got him. Leon Borg is now dead because of Leon. Everyone is <laughs> fucking dead now. <laughs> Leon fucking murderer. Wow, good job, Leon. Great stuff. Hey, have you ever seen the Abomination? Did you like the Abomination? In the Hulk? Hulk? <laughs> yeah. Dude, cool. no. It, it, that's what the guy looked like in the. It, that's the guy from the Resident Evil show we just watched. He looked like the Abomination. <clears throat> yeah. It's fucking horrible. Just... He looks terrible. Yeah. Never mind. It's no, we'll watch it a little bit. Dude. I mean, this is like the movie you watch like one time in theaters. Like, oh, there's another Marvel movie. I'll watch this because there's nothing else out. The Hulk movie. It's got Tim Roth in it. It's got Tim Roth as the Abomination, and it's got Ed, what's his face. Remember before Ed Mark Ruffalo was Ed, uh, what's his face? Yeah, Edward Norton is not a good Hulk. Does not make a good Bruce Banner. That was a was weird cap. Didn't he play? He played like someone else in Iron Man or Doctor Strange or something. He was in another movie as a bad guy or something. Edward Norton? Yeah. Oh, we're just nah. cutting right to it. He's Bruce Banner in this. No, but I'm saying in another, like, Disney Marvel movie, he really? was that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Look at him. Like yeah, he looks duo. terrible. <laughs> he looks terrible. The, the Abomination duo. literally has bone underwear or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it was dope. The Hulk video game. The Hulk oh, GTA yeah, game, that shit was awesome. He's yeah. beating the shit out of him. H Mark him. Man, the Hulk doesn't really get to shine too much in the movies as much as you think he would. Oh, oh, my hell. How does, uh... I don't understand why they went with Edward Norton, though. Yeah, that was not the greatest movie. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo more, I don't know, Hulkish in the face. If I can I see guess so. Comes, you know? Edward Norton's Hulk transformation scenes are pretty funny. <laughs> are they? And then yeah, Tim Roth. Or, I would keep thinking. Of, I keep wanting to say Eli Roth, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was, yeah. Tim Roth like as the abomination was funny in this movie. Tim Roth is cool in this. Yo, and the guy who played the leader, <laughs> it's really. This movie's. I mean, this like... was the first crossover too. I think Iron Man showed up at the end of this movie, or Nick Fury did. Yeah. Iron Man shows up at the end of this. This was the first Marvel crossover. I don't know why we're fucking watching this right now. <laughs> Edward oh, and it's uh, she was She-Hulk in this, not really, but she looked like She-Hulk. Was she? No, it's like his. Uh, I forget her name. God. 
Oh my god, this Hulk looks awful. Never mind. I'm smoking crack. I it was like, like, what do you want when you watch this movie? <laughs> it was a different time. It's no Blade, yeah. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, we, we get it. Yeah. We get it. That's a nine-minute fight scene? Jesus Christ. I mean, that's the entire thing. Do you really want it to be longer than nine minutes? <laughs> I don't think I do. No, I, I want it to be shorter than that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, Pan Panama Stan or whatever. It was nice visiting, but I don't want to stay. So a, that's, that's a flush for me. I don't know about you, but that's a flush for um, me. I'm definitely going to use my air miles to visit, but I'm definitely not going to, you know. Oh, I'm real quick, gonna... one more thing. I don't know if you've watched any of my DVD streams, but uh, have you seen Nemesis in, or any of those evil shit in Dead by Daylight? I played, I played Nemesis a few times in the game. Let me see what he looks like, because I love yeah, yeah. Nemesis. You know I love you some Nemesis. Do you like the remake version with the sideways, like Mr. Potato Head oh. nose? You don't like the uh, Mr. Potato Head nose? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like the old version better. I, I, I am biased. This, this thing going on, it looks like Yeah, this. he's got the potato head nose. He's like... Oh, it's so stupid looking. <laughs> Look at the shoes. I also he's thought got... he's like wearing a skirt and like he's wrapped in a garbage bag with a car motor on him or something. Yeah, the garbage bag thing is weird. It's supposed to be a... Um, Wait I a second, up... hold up. There's the crooked nose I was talking about. The boxer nose. I don't know if I like the nose. I like the... I like the... I, like I like the, the nose I, and, the, and the horse teeth. It's like... So I like funny. the... Actually, I do like the horse teeth. I like his shark really? teeth better in three, but I'm okay with the horse teeth. Mm. No. Nah. Like <laughs> when you first see him in um, Resident Evil 3, his yeah. whole body is wrapped in that thing. So yeah, like, yeah. That well, he's wearing, a, he's wearing a full-on jacket. This thing, he's just wearing like a garbage bag over him or something. Yeah. I like this, though, because it's supposed no, to be... No, I like it. Body. Um, I watched the video um, about the, the character designer talking about what he oh, went through. What, to make I'm Nemesis? A, or, yeah, dude, I'm a fucking nerd. Ah, I wouldn't but, mind looking that up, actually. It's, um... It was cool. It made sense. It, it made, like, why he looks like a mummy. It makes, like, a lot hmm. of sense. Okay. I'd be curious what the inspiration was for Nemesis. He's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, the tyrant is where you started, but, like, yeah. you know, you got a little bit further. Lou F will know. always be the it, best. It, yeah, it, Frigno, it, yeah, Lou Frigno's the best Hulk. Yes. Uh, the new CGI stuff just can't beat the 80s. Oh, I love the Hulk show. Have you ever watched the Hulk show? Not in like a really long time. It's good shit. It's sad. It's like, wah, wah, wah. you know, yeah, they always it, play the little song. <laughs> and it's just like, it's kicked out of town, right? He's got to go to the next town. They're like, Blue get out of Hulk. here, Hulk. It's like, you're a monster. Get out. There's that Jill and that Leon. Did like, you like the remake Frigno? games? Oh. But yes, he's in the game and it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, they just got that nose. There's somebody that uh. Did it's just a that mod. nose. <laughs> There's someone that did a mod where you can download it where the nose is fixed. <laughs> really? <laughs> they uh, turned his nose this way. <laughs> they just turned it back. <laughs> it looks so much better. With just the nose, I'd rather actually I prefer the nose sideways instead of just uh. I'd rather yeah. no nose or sideways nose than a straight nose. Well, straight nose just looks weird. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what they're hmm. Let's see. Do they have the I interview? Gotta... I have that shit saved on my computer. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, it that... looks like he's straight out of fucking Rambo or something. What's up, guys? Yeah, right. Look at this shit. Whoa. Whoa. What? That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? I want that. I'm surprised you never gotten into models like that. That's pretty sweet looking, though. Uh, because you got to be a really good painter. You know yeah, I, mean? I guess that's true. You need to <laughs> kind of need to do that. <laughs> really good painting. I, I did. I bought a bunch of Warhammer shit. No, yeah, I think he has a bunch of Warhammer shit in the background. That all looks like Warhammer, and that Something. looks like Motaro. But you, you, oh, 3D printing is insane. He's yeah. making his own? Oh, it's so sick. Yeah, dude, see? He's in Blender right now. I'm what? surprised you haven't messed with any 3D programs. That's pretty sick, though. I, although, honestly, he might have imported this from, like, a graphical file into yeah. Blender, and they're like, all right, I'm using my 3D printer now. Yeah, look, at all the, look at all the layers they put out. Oh, boots, boots, too. Fingernails. They have a fingernail layer. Just want to put that out there. Yeah, Brian, Art. that's why I haven't messed with any 3D programs. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly why. All those fucking layers are right there. Well. <laughs> I'm good. I'm Fine. straight. Ooh, look at this. You can even do the dimensions, 50, mil 50 millimeters. Oh, my God. This is so cool. What the fuck? Dude. <laughs> 64 hours. Only that's 64 all... hours to print. Jesus. Look at it go. I wonder how if he prints this in stages and then he puts it all together. Yo, look at yeah. that shit. Look at this shit. Wow. Because that's how the, that's like, because the pieces, you have to cut off the flak. So that's the yeah. nemesis head. 
That's a tentacle. That's his boots and arms. It's the giant flamethrower. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh, God, look at this shit. Dude, I feel 3D... like uh, 3D printing is a lot more affordable nowadays than it used to be. But, like, it's yeah. a godsend for models. It's the shit. Yeah. It's made, uh, like, Gundams and shit look, like, way better. Ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about Gundam later in the show. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh did right. you watch more episodes? I didn't know you watched more episodes. I watched oh, I watched more episodes. That's what? okay. I don't want to talk about Gundam Wing too much anyway. <laughs> I just have some questions. Well, here, let's take a quick break. Let's uh, let's move on. Watching the background, let's talk about. Look at it. Ooh, you got a green. I kind of want to watch the rest of this video though. I know, dude. This is so. I'm gonna skip fast. around. I think you love 3D printing personally as a model, dude. I feel like I'm gonna put well, that shit put that shit on your Christmas list. I put some shit out there. Uh, my buddy's making me a duck boy. That oh, really? Make. That's pretty yeah. sick. We're gonna try and print it up. Look at this yeah. man. Go to work. I yeah, guess I'm he's going to paint the parts individually. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. That's incredible. That's what they do with Gundams. They they build it, and then they take it apart and do everything, and they paint everything separately. I watched some sort of show. Oh, look at that. Cool Mr. X. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Tyrant. Mr. X looks kind of weird to me, but I, I, I like Nemesis a lot more. I like Nemesis more. He's just cooler. He just straight up is. <laughs> Mr. X is. looks like a, a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a flasher. He, a big yeah, like a big flasher. All right. Well, you watched this more than I did. Let's move on. How was this shit? Although this is the old one. This is fight two. This is the free fight. Oh, I was gonna say. I was like, they already posted this. No. <laughs> New. This guy rules. He wears uh women's shoes. Apparently. Who's that? Dustin. The no, the announcer. <laughs> oh, the announcer. I mean, he's trying to look fly. Look at that ridiculous ass suit. He has suit jacket. Yo, DP baby, Dustin DP. P. This is the shaved head era, Connor. He looks like I don't know. <laughs> he looks like uh, what's his face? But let's, hold on. Um, let's look. Let's uh, pause this and let's look at the actual fight here. Yeah, let's watch the first one, the second one, and then. Uh... Oh no, I don't want to watch. The... Wow, well, I don't know. If Connor did dreads. <laughs> yeah. What hasn't he done, haircut wise? He had braids for a little bit. That's what happens. White dude, you get braids. That's really yeah, no, that's you done. You start doing too much cocaine. That's what happens. <laughs> white, white dudes with braids can either fuck you up or are just you can you can beat the shit out of them. There's no in between. <laughs> There's no in between there. Oof. Oh yeah, slapped him. Crazy. So what happened? Was that the first fight where he did he just knock his ass out or what happened? Looks like he knocked uh, him out. <laughs> the first fight, Dustin got TKO'd, and then mm. the second fight. He knocked out Conor McGregor. Yeah, it looks like we just saw that right there. Oh, that was the first one. I guess he knocked his ass out. <laughs> Yo, he's so pro wrestling. Dude, yeah, he fucking Conor McGregor can talk some shit. Yeah, he's straight pro wrestling, dude. Got the little salty, I would not, salty dude, beard. I would not fight Dustin Poirier. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Poirier, look how look how calm he is right now. Look how calm he is. Calm as fuck. Yo, man, it's great to have the crowd back. Oh, yeah. Really makes the shows like these worth watching. Watching UFC in outer space or, like, like UFC hard. Fight Island. Eh, eh. Look at that back leg. That's Oof. the one that breaks. It's the what, the one with the tattoo break. on it? It already looks kind of suspicious right now. It's his left yeah. leg, right? The way that he's standing on it kind of looks weird. How the hell does he get out of this? Climbing the fence. He's climbing the top rope. He's <laughs> Ooh, he slipped oh, out. He got, got out. Slipped his head out. He slipped on some right. baby oil. <laughs> just slipped right out. Whoop. Elbows, baby. Elbows for days. Those educated elbows. Oh, look at those elbows. Oh, Man, look at that. Looks like these guys were going to war. Ooh, did you see that fucking dodge? Yeah. Oh, you were doing a stream, right? I remember you doing an art stream when this was happening, if I recall. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn. Do you imagine how painful that is? Hold on. Um, Dude, yeah, moment yeah, of impact. Back. Ready? I don't think they really show like much evidence of it happening. Like, okay. This Here, it is. Right here, here it is. is. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. God. Ooh, yeah, it's like a yeah, cover-up, I guess, but his foot is just dangling there. It's just... Gone, dude. God, that looks rough. Okay. Break your damn ankle. Is... Oh, they're gonna show it for us. <laughs> oh, it was broken. It's a compound fracture. Yeah, dude. That is not just his ankle. That's like the bottom of his fucking foot. 
and they both missed their crosses. Uh, God, I'm such a baby, man. I can't watch this shit, man. It's terrible. Oh my God, dude, pause it. I'm not pausing that shit. <laughs> it's terrible. I'll go back. I just gotta see it. Oh, that was such a gnarly angle. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, Danny, it's definitely soap opera shit. It's male soap opera. <laughs> I'm 100% male soap opera. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, personally, never got into fights. I try not to get into fights. I have gotten into fights back in the day. And now I fight for recreation and boxing. Well, that's it. Actually, both yeah. of us do. So <laughs> it's yeah. just for fun. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying, I'm not looking for fights. I promise. Uh, I do it so that if a fight happens to me, I'll be prepared. I'm ready. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get ready for survivors. <laughs> Look, watch. Kicked. I was trying to let Herb know that. This guy's a dirtbag, man. <laughs> Wait, he called Connor a dirtbag? Yeah. Beautiful family, you know? Wait, he says he's a dirtbag and he's he seen his beautiful tells family. The audience, <laughs> he, he tells the audience to kiss his whole asshole. <laughs> what is your, this should be like a wallpaper background or something. All right. This needs to be like a fucking, uh, like a painting. We need like a painting frame around this right now. I'd paint this. Joe Rogan on the <laughs> on the ground with the octagon talks into Conor Joe McGregor. Rogan and Monkey Man. Uh, Joe Rogan and Monkey Man. Uh, Joe Rogan zooted out of his fucking eyes, high on some shit right now. He's, he's on he's on some TRT and DMT at the same time. The frustration boiling over. Look how mad he is. He's mad as fuck right now. Oh, that happened. Did you go back and watch the whole fight or no? I still haven't found uh, footage. footage. Oh, we just it. watched them. Well, I mean, what's next? I guess Connor's got to get better, and that's another year probably recovering before another fight. Probably another year before he fights again, right? Close to. I mean, I hope that he doesn't, dude. It's just like, just walk away. You got like a hundred jillion dollars. Spend all his money on cocaine. <laughs> walk away, bro. Let's see. Uh, it don't take much to break your foot. All the bones are so small. Just stepping on it the wrong way. Yep. I've definitely tweaked my ankle more than a few times. That shit hurts. <laughs> yeah. Actually, did you have a foot injury, right, Derek, or no? I've had, like, the tops of my feet hurt from kicking. Because hmm. when you kick, so what, basically what you're supposed to do when you kick people, you're supposed to kick with, like, the bottom of your shin. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The bottom of your shin. The, like, what ends up happening a lot of times is you end up kicking people with the top of your foot. And that's how. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of your shin or whatever. Right yeah. There. It actually feels nice to kick someone with your foot, but your feet can only take. But it's not nice to your foot. (laughs) Your foot, because your foot's literally like bending back. Like you're. Yeah, you're you're literally pushing your foot away from your joint. It's like, come on, feet. Come on, feet. Come on, don't fail me now. Yeah, McGregor has a sick chest tattoo though. I want that. That's like the Roddy Piper, like, yeah, chest piece. What is that? Is that a man ding? What is that? Uh, is that a mandrill? I think it's like an ape. I think it's a mandrill. It's a mandrill. It's a mandrill. Have you seen a mandrill? They're terrifying. Yeah, you remember the one that used to hang? The, the one that they, uh, Seth had a painting of? Bitch. I wish I could have taken that. I kind of wanted to hang it up in the background here. Or I think it really would have put the room together. When the, when the place was when the, when the fucking feds came in. They shut it down. It's like, shut it down. The check is not in the mail. The check. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> Yo, we got to give praises due, though, to Anna once again. Come on the show. Let's see. Come on the show. <laughs> D-Man wants to it. talk to you. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. D-Man wants to tell you a thing or two. I wrote you know there's a, you know there's an anime called D-Man. Hold on, I'm going to look it up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and there's oh, also D- a Marvel comic character called D-Man. D the Gray Man. Oh, apparently this isn't it. <laughs> Hold on, anime. Yeah, yeah, D man yeah, goes yeah. to jail. D Gray man. D Gray man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. D Gray man. All right, I'm wrong. So whatever. <laughs> I have no idea what it's about. D Gray man is a genius, or it's the genius of D Gray man. Well, I don't know anything about this, but I just wanted to make that joke. So. <laughs> oh God, that looks terrible. Oh, well, it's probably like a little panel that was zoomed in on. I'll give him the break, but. Uh, but yeah, did you watch any of the other UFC show or any other shits recently? Uh, I watched Anything else in the fight world? Sugar Sean fight was good. All right, laid on me. What yeah. happened? He fought a fucking animal. That's what. It, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> dude, is, he like, guy, is it like a bear fight or what? Dude, is this, dude, from, this? What the fight, hell is this? What am I even yeah, looking for? This one? one? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. They put the date um, month second. Yeah, I don't know why they did 
but Chris Montesino, this dude right here is a fucking animal. Yeah, he I don't trust anyone moved. who dyes his hair like a joker. <laughs> he never, he literally never stopped moving. He looks forward. like the trickster. Of TV. Yeah, he does. Dude. This motherfucker's the trickster. He never stopped moving forward. This entire oh, he lived twenty. Uh, he lived twenty miles from Andre the Giant's farm in, in North Carolina. That's sick. Who does? Yo, I love Andre the Giant. Uh, Danny in the chat. Danny, nice. that's fucking cool. I love Under the Giant. I love pro wrestling. I'm going to have to look that up. Hell yeah. I'm going to look that shit up. And this guy has got crazy hair, too. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> White uh, dudes with dude. fucking tight cornrows. <laughs> Rainbow cornrows. There's he only two say. ways to go. <laughs> He's one of the best fighters right now. He's fucking strange, man. Hey, man, you got to be an odd duck to do this for a living. Dude. He literally hits this dude 200 and something fucking times and this kid never stops coming forward what Literally. the green hair kid yeah damn it was like this is like watching at, two like uh youtubers fight or it's like watching two dude, youtubers fight each other end, at the end of this fight the kid in the green hair his face is like hamburger hamburger meat. damn but he survived you know Montahuno, you think he would be great based they should just color their shit on their hair color or something all right the little uh, things at the bottom of the screen. Look I guess it's only three rounds. Man, he's taking all of that to the face. He literally is blocking with his face. But, like, this is like, so when you fight people, if you just can't keep up this constant pressure, like, you can't get a knockout punch from, like, walking back and, like, walking to the side all the time. I don't know. It looks like he's stumbling around, but. He, he stuns him here, but he never gets a chance Oof. to, like. That was a hell of a roundhouse kick. Yeah. That could have been bad news if that shit connected. That would terrible. Terrible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woo! Uh-oh. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh there he goes. So now he's got him. I'm wondering if this guy got a perm in the back of his hair that's loose. <laughs> I'm more concerned about these guys' haircuts in the fight. <laughs> yeah, he's got this crazy cornrow, and then he's got, like, fucking permed hair in the back of his head. Dude, you can't What's stop it? shit. This guy is just a fucking animal. Dude, how many times have you been hit in the fucking face? <laughs> he just loves getting hit, I guess. Like, he's, he's doing the Rocky Balboa school of uh, strategy of walking forward and getting punched in the face. Look at his face. That's after the first round. Oof, right in the fucking jaw right throat. How the hell is this guy going? <laughs> he's just I have no idea. Got the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. Did he get a lobotomy? I mean, what the hell happened? Yeah, it's pretty... It's, did the, did it's the, the tear die go to his brain? What happened? This Chris kid is like the worst kid you want to fight. Let's see. When you, when you grow up in the 80s, I mean, he was every kid's hero from Princess Bride. Huh? And we it's know true. it's the best because no one has tried to remake. True that. You can't remake the Princess Bride. Yeah, don't make that. That, that movie sucks anyway. What? <laughs> you don't like the movie? That's no, a, it fucking that's... blasphemy. <laughs> They're gonna remake that. It's gonna be like coming to America too. Or something. Oh yeah, I mean, I, they shouldn't remake it. That's for sure. It will suck ass. I can promise you, it will suck. Yeah, please don't. Man, we did talk about coming to America too, didn't we, on an older yeah, podcast? That's <laughs> whack. Uh, there's no way in hell it could have been good, but I'm glad Lucy Snipes got paid. I'm glad Arsenio Hall got paid. Shout out to them. Shout out to you guys for getting paid for this fucking Dude. movie. I'm glad Eddie Murphy got paid. <laughs> I'm glad everybody got paid. Look at this, man. This kid is this, like your worst nightmare. Dude, through. he hasn't done anything. He's just gotten punched in the face and advances the whole time. He's just... Exactly. Does he win the fight? <laughs> no, he doesn't win. But okay, <laughs> I was like, how does he win the fight? Look, you see how tired Sean is? Yeah, he's been beating him up for the first <laughs> Oh, God. This guy's face has got turned inside out. Dude. This is <laughs> not... He's catching these punches not... flush to the face. Look, gets a kick to the face. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. It's brutal. I mean, you don't have to watch the whole thing, but it's I'm going like... to skip to the end to see his hamburger face. Yeah. Jesus Look Christ. That. That's after the stoppage. Oh, they so, stopped it. Oof. Yeah, they just end up stopping it. Yeah, because he's just getting punched in the face the whole round. <laughs> yeah, he's getting... Hold on. Andre the Giant. Farm. Fart. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's look it up. I'm, I'm actually curious now. An elderly... Andre Ray. What the fuck is this? It's in North Carolina. North Kakalaki, dog. Kakalaka. Ellerby. I feel like I passed through there. Hey. 
That's cool. Under the Giant is the dude. Did you read uh, Box Brown's Under the Giant biography? It's pretty good. I liked it. Box Brown's a real dude. Anyone wants to read Box Brown's uh, comics, you should. They're really fucking good. Box Brown's the truth. That man's a, that man's prolific as fuck. Mm, Dixie Burgers make me hungry now. <laughs> Let's get a Dixie Burger break. That's the Dixie Burger. I've yet to watch coming to coming to the America too. I just can't bring myself to watch it. Yeah, Danny, don't do it. It's not. <laughs> don't do it, Danny. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. Yo, ask Danny. Is uh, Dixie Burger good? I thought Dixie Burger was alright, but it's been it's literally been like 20 years since I've had Dixie Burger. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's just slamming into the window. <laughs> closed? Oh, it's closed. Dixie Burger's seen better days. Yeah, Food King. It's like a Little Champs or something. Okay. Damn. All right, Andre. North Carolina, man. Yeah, I like North Carolina. It's been a little. It's been probably two or three years since I've been there, so. Is this, uh, this looks like a nice little... Uh... Yeah, look at that jacuzzi. He's a big man. Oh. He's a lot of, look at that gazebo. It's a big-ass gazebo for a big man. Oh, yeah. That looks like a pretty sweet ranch, honestly. He got that Farm. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Is that, oh, like, Andre. his knees? Dude, his kneecaps are, like, Yeah, dude, side. he had gigantism. <laughs> That's his daughter? In today's adventure, I don't know if it's his daughter. Hold on. North Carolina. Go Ellaby. Hold on. Carolina. Can you imagine fucking and under the giant <laughs> I don't think he had. Wait, did he have children? He probably had children. He have not ate there. Highway 220, I-74, I-73 now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was in Apex. Actually, you know what? I was in North Carolina not that long ago. I was in Apex, um, like... Three months ago, it was good. Nice. Think I could get I'm gonna go back to Black Mountain. Yeah, I love, the, dude. I love the food down in North Carolina. It's the shit. Yeah. Uh, Heroes Con. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Heroes Con is a good convention. It's all right. That would be. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a good place to hide out if you wanna just not be persecuted. Size 26. Damn. You fit my feet inside your feet with room to spare. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fucking foot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this man was a giant. How All much right, he's weigh? looking at uh, like 800 pounds or something. There's a bear. Okay, this has got to be like a museum. All right, well, it was under the giant's farm. This makes me want to drive up the backwoods of North Kakalaki right now. There's something about southern chicks, too. Was. was he? I was like, I don't think Andre had kids or anything like that i don't know i'm gonna look up the wiki entry real quick now i'm going down the under the giant <laughs> black hole let's see giants i didn't think he ever had any uh let's see doesn't say doesn't say sounds under the giant Oh, he has a child. Wait, no. Okay. Does he? It says one. I don't know if I can trust this. There was a video of her on the, on the YouTube thing. Family. Hmm. Robin. No. <laughs> no, it's like a wrestling kayfabe one. That's not his real kid. That's, that's, that's another wrestler who claimed to be his kid. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. He did have a child. Yeah. Only child, Robin Krishnan is Rosamov. Is he Russian? Hmm. No, he was French. He's French. All right. Interesting. Yeah, for some reason I thought Andre was gay too, but or something. I thought he just never married or something like that, but nope, he had a daughter. <laughs> it's all good. You imagine getting clouded by that dude? With a hand. I'd be like, take it easy, Andre. Jesus. It's the eighth wonder of the world, eighth and ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of dick. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, uh, good shit. I think that deserves a tomato throw or something. <laughs> He's a 
All right. You'd have you know to do like a whole bottle of poppers to be able to take that fucking thing. God. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Gundam here. So, did you watch the next few episodes of Wing or Nah? I could talk about them real quick, and then I, I have, got... actually have a I threw out a quick audible for you, but I think you'll like it. Was that? Did you did you watch? Oh, hold on, did you watch Gundam Wing? <laughs> well, that's why it's an audible. I'll tell you. I didn't know we were going to keep going. I, I didn't know what you told me? <laughs> well, whatever. I, I watched. Like... I watched more of it. Uh, I like the theme song. I'll catch up. I'll Hero catch up. Huey tries to commit suicide jumping out of a 20-story building. Yeah. He won't pull his parachute in time. Yep. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> and Definitely somehow he survives the tumble. He puts his. Oh yeah. The only other thing we're talking about. He puts his leg back into its socket of his hip. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not like lethal weapon where you can just go like, like it's not. It, no, it doesn't work like, like that. Snaps it and then snaps it back in place and then just walks off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's Anime, when he man. like tumbles. He like tumbles down the side of like a mountain, right? Yeah. <laughs> so weird. He tumbles down the side of a mountain after jumping out of a building. You know, you a I also person. like the evil chick in the show. Um, her. Uh, what is her name? That's Neon? Noin. Noin. Yeah. What? Noin. <laughs> No one's not evil. He's great. Let's see. Uh, well, after he died, he left everything to his friend that lived on a farm with him. But everyone said okay. that he was such a nice guy. Yeah, I think he's just a friend is just Ooh. a friend in this case. They're building. Look what they're building. What are they building? The tog- are they building the toggies? The <laughs> it's the only oh, yeah. thing. Shot. So that- I don't. I still don't understand. Like, okay, so all these kids are here. They're all little terrorists. Yeah. And they're fighting Oz. Who made these fucking Gundams? <laughs> uh, you'll find out. They're I'll find toys. out. Okay. Oh, big titties. Hold on a yeah. second. Oh shit, I messed up. Uh, this is great. I love Let's go. Let's go. I found some amazing video about this guy. Uh, this guy rules. <laughs> no, this guy complaining about Gunpod Melly. Oh god damn it, where is she? Oh yes, this is poisoning the online gunpla community. So this oh, guy, yeah, yeah. this guy, <laughs> has just made a video to trash talk Gunpai Melly. This guy is such a fucking nerd. He probably tried to get a date with her some time ago. It's like Gunpai Melly, your collection oh, is not better fun. than mine. Fuck you. <laughs> thing when you boil it down to it. So the first Hold situation on. is a pretty simple one where you probably have experienced this online if you're spending time on Instagram, Facebook, so, whatever. In is this the guy a hater? Community or just yeah. The plastic model community. How do you how do you feel about the gunflow community? <laughs> You're a part of it, right? Uh, I stay out of it. <laughs> you stay out of it. I just make my models over here. Let's see some of the models over there, buddy. Yeah. Racks up. Oh, so he's mad that he's not getting likes like Gunpla. Yep. Hold on, I'm gonna switch the camera real quick. Let's see some of them goddamn Gundams. What do we got over there? What do we got over there? You guys all seen them before. And it ends up yeah. being 50, Look at those damn Gundams. Loads of so many goddamn Gundams. We're excited about this photo of a box. We're live, pal. We got the Gundams. Off, thinking, like, I think the that's the one I got. Uh, the one I got from Japan is over there. I forget which one it was. It was like fucking a weird Gundam seed one. Yeah, it's like. All right, let's get back to this guy. This nerd whining about Gunpai Melly. <laughs> this jealous nerd. Videos or photo content, things like that. So sure I hate his videos. They're so boring. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen this guy before? Do you know who he is? What really grinds my gears oh, he's is the all fucking the people that then go online and complain about these two situations. That's what really grinds my gears because I this hate guy to is see grinded. people wasting time and I hate to see people wasting time. Grinds what is this guy gears. talking about? So he's got this, 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 and it's a simple one. this, yeah. Learn to understand what's yeah. Your so pause it for a second. Not. Oh, I can tell y'all he didn't want to date her. <laughs> he's got, yeah, he wants to date this chick and she clearly was like, no, fuck you, dude, get out of my Oh no, team. he's your family? <laughs> No, Where that can't be true. He's got titties all around him. I mean, yeah, Gunpla Melly's not that far away. He likes Gundam, likes titties, so I don't know. Oh my all right, Danny, are you guys related? Did I stumble across a weird connection here? Online, especially, <laughs> is a major thing that will save you guys a lot of time, a lot of head. Oh my God, all family here. I mean, be good Come on, guy. Why'd you Does this guy just do like a, a, a dead uh, shot of just him talking in front of Gundams right the whole time? Because yeah. And this is a YouTube video. It's not like he's only cut from Switch or whatever. All right, whatever. What is he even talking about? He's just complaining about Gunpai Melly. What a hater. He's such a hater. No, Gunpai Melly. All right. Tell me the origin story hey. of Gunpai Melly. Yo. Way better. There, pick one. Which one are we going to type C Zaku 2? Actually, this looks pretty sweet. I 
please. <laughs> he hey needs a 3D printer to make his own. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, he is. Today I have an awesome review for oh you. Oh my god, Gunpai. <laughs> I can't talk today. Okay. She's got a great room. Look, where'd she get those big ass Gundams from? <laughs> where'd she get those big ass Gundams from? <laughs> <laughs> that Zaku looks pretty. I'm feeling that Zaku. You got that psycho. Like, no, pause it real quick. Okay. Where are the guns at? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I know what you mean. <laughs> this guy, leave Gunpai Melly alone. It's okay. Yo, she's got the perfect grades over there to the left. Ooh, uh -huh. looking good. She's got the perfect grades. That's sexy. She's got the perfect grade Zaku. The psycho are the perfect guy. grades really that big? Yeah, I mean, they're fucking huge. I got one Jesus. over there. What is this then? The Omega grade or something? Yeah, that's This like, one's uh, life size? No, yeah, that's, that's not like... life size. The life size one is Japan. Yeah, exactly. Those Ooh. are like the six foot Gundams. They're stupid. Yeah. Gunpai Melly's got the market cornered. God damn. Oh, yeah, she, knew, she knew the angle. I love when women do this. I mean, what you love, love when women do this. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Gundam that. angle right there. <laughs> oh, man. So, like, does she, I guess she legit, I mean, if you buy all this shit, I hope you like Gundam in some way, right? Yeah, I mean, she builds them all. She legit she's likes them? That's okay. Why is he being a hater? Because she's got big-ass titties. <laughs> she's taking all the views. She's taking all the views, I damn. I don't want to hear from that fucking guy. I, watch I guess I would be a little upset, too. If I'm making all this great Gundam content. She just Yo, has a bunch of Gundam sitting around. Actually, I think her content's all right. I think she puts some effort into her content. She puts a big display down there. He does camera that. cuts and angles. It's got interesting angles. Like on them. Very interesting angle. Yes. Angle. Oh, she shows the box. Does unpacking. Look. See. He builds it. He needs to stop being a fucking hater. Look at that thing. I want that. That's so sick. That's pretty sick. You can turn it into a uh, Shars version. Really? I yeah. guess you could just paint it up and do it. No, it comes with the the visor replacement. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I was like, I couldn't remember the difference between the two. Uh, solid, yo. There's a, there's Danny, a. Danny, are you a fan? Are you a fan of uh, Gundam at all, or any of this sort of nonsense, or <laughs> not so much? Look at that shit. Look Ooh. at this guy. See, stop hating on Gunpla Melly. I know, yo. Gunpla Melly is dope. Okay, except for the models this time. Cords. Just because she has, she's figured out the algorithm. She's working the algorithm. She's smart. Yeah. Don't hate her. And she's telling you everything you want to hear about the Gundam models. Yep. She's the, the, okay. You've watched more of them, more of her videos, right? You've watched a handful. <laughs> does she does she know what she's talking about? Well, you're the you're the Gundam expert here. You're the model expert. Does she like like as a model constructor? I know you want these. You want to look out for this, this, and this. Yeah. She's great. She's like she shows you like she gives you like a really good run rundown of like all the like the articulation. The build, um, if it was a fun build, if it was a terrible build, she's good. Pilot chair right there. She knows what she's doing. Okay, no, that's good. They got the pilot chair. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, no. Yo, Danny, I, I thought of this real quick, dude. I uh, I totally missed your thing about the bee stuff the other day. I want to talk about that. I have another segment that I think will tie right into it. So. <laughs> yeah, we're with the hobbies thing. I I wanna I wanna fucking make a bee farm or yeah I wanna. Raise bees, nurture bees. Oh, yeah. You should do it. I want the honey. I know some people that do that shit. Really? Who? Yeah. They do it. A lot of people do it in Philly. What? <laughs> How? Don't you need like a, like two acres to do it? Archers. Oh, all right. Oh, gun pie, Melly. Parks and gardens, baby. Parks and gardens, all right. Uh -oh. Doing it for the bees. Oh, no, it's Thanos. Hold on, let's touch the camera real quick. Sorry, gun pie, Melly. You can't compare it to Thanos. You got a Thanos bomb. You got Thanos bomb. <laughs> is Thanos yeah. your favorite model? <laughs> is your favorite? You need to put like a, one of those Gundam helmets on her, and just oh, put man. the fucking helmet on the cat. <laughs> I want to get her like a Shar helmet. Get her a Shar helmet with the fucking visors. Oh my god, dude! Look Hold at on. this. Thing. This thing is so sick. I love these. It's pretty high. They're so expensive though. They're they're like way too. They're two hundred dollars, I think. Yeah, I'm not. See, Gunpai Melly's got the cool lo-fi music playing. She knows what's up. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Zaku, Shar Zaku with the little fin. <laughs> Wait a second, what? There's a, the Shar Gundam? <laughs> yeah. oh. 
Kung Pai. Great A. Uh, all right, let's see here. The biggest unboxing, a thousand dollars. Hold on, I'm a mark. <laughs> Go to the one she's, she's got a gray shirt on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the Gundams, excuse me. All right. Excuse me, uh, I actually came for the Gundams. Came for the Gundams, dude. All right, let's see. Whoa, what is this? What? Oh, she's just unboxing a bunch of shit. I thought yeah. it was literally the biggest one. Hold on, I want to look up something real quick. What is that gigantic monster uh, right model there. called? Right there. Uh, it's like the... 160 to do splits next weekend. 200 bucks. Yeah, exactly. These models are expensive, Danny. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the, yeah. the, the give and take is not quite equal. Yeah. I, What's the one from Gundam I, Unicorn? The, like, gigantic... Uh... Oh, the... Um, what is that called? The Sinanju... Um... No, it's like... Unicorn. Oh, oh, man. mega size mega unicorn. Zongok. Um... Oh my god, what the hell is it called? You know what I'm talking about. It's like, it was from yeah, the original yeah. Gundam 2, and it has like a goofy, goofy kind of name. It's like a two-part name. Ooh, oh, Sharzaku Mark II. Here, hold up, I'll look it up. All right, all right. While we're doing that, I'm going to look up Sharzaku Part 2. God damn. Look at her. She knows exactly. <laughs> Here is a look at that awesome album artwork. Splits next weekend? Yeah, man, it sounds fun. that sounds fun as hell. I need to do something with my hive. I've been sitting on it at home. I just need to... I need to figure out something to do with it. You got a hive? Yo, yeah, I got it like a lot on those little bee houses. Nice. But it's not enough. I need to get better. Those things, I think the one I have sucks or is like actually bad in the long run. Did they die? I think it just, yeah, I think it just, and in, in the end, it's not really great for them long term. I tried to make a flower garden this year, but it didn't turn out. Or more specifically, someone else tried to make a flower garden. It didn't turn out so great. <laughs> but there's still time. The, the season is not over. Oh, let's see. oh my god, Gunpai Melee, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. I don't yeah, know if she dabbled I, in uh, Neon Genesis. That's what happened to my fucking um, Ava. Fell, fell to pieces. Oh, really? It's all those gangly joints. Yeah. I need to check on the bees, I'm not sure. What happened to her wrist? Oh no, what happened to your wrist, Gunpai? <laughs> Hopefully she's not a cutter. Um... I'm fine. We love we love you. Don't do it. <laughs> Everyone loves you. Life is worth living. Wow, well, the beginner's guide. Um, yeah, we have to deal with the fucking lantern flies in PA. I just saw someone. I went to the park this weekend. Oh no, Gumpai's got a dog too. Wow, she really knows what she's doing. She's got every fucking possible contingency accounted for. Yup. It's the Neo Zong, by the way. Oh, what she got here? What board games does she have? Right? These are board games. Oh, Carcassonne. Yep. Run and fight or die. <laughs> Code names. Okay. Winry. And her dog's name Winry. Hmm? Oh, man. Hey, Winry's, uh, that's from Gundam, isn't it? Actually, no, I thought that was from Full Metal. The, the, the yeah, one chick from that. Full Metal. From the last one. Yeah, we gotta deal with the dumbass lantern flies. They're really annoying. Good girl. What do they do? Ah, uh, this is kind of pissing me off with the not remembering. The, what was the, that Gundam? It's oh, the Neo Zeon. Oh, that's right. I knew it was something stupid like that. All right. Neo so, Zeon. I, would, I actually like the Neo Zeon, my first QA video. Maybe um, she's like, did you get the Neo Zeon? She's like, no, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's really dumb. It's not worth it. I almost, I, I watched like either her video or somebody else talking about it. And it saved me like so like, much money. It saved you like $500. I'm going to buy it. Okay, let's watch this monstrosity. Oh, check this shit out, Danny. Three feet. Look at this tall, fucking dude. monster. We got it. So the sick. truck driver we have to take classes on them. We were outside of Philly picking up one time, and they came from everywhere. Yep. Yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense. You gotta yeah. not make sure those those fuckers spread anywhere. Look at this yeah, fucking man. monster of a fucking thing. You gotta kill them fuckers. You gotta kill them fuckers on site. Kill them where they stand. Power Rangers? Uh, yeah, actually, they're kind of like Power Rangers. <laughs> Dude, YouTube. Yeah, pretty much. Look at this. Shit's three, uh, yeah. three feet tall. This guy, I like this guy's videos. He's good, too. Yeah, he actually, he looks like he knows what he's doing. He's really good uh, production values. Uh, they get a lot better. This is an older video. I was going to say, it's like, and here's my door over here. My door to yeah, my yeah. apartment. <laughs> His newer stuff. He, he These guys are kind of like Power Rangers, though. Gundam. I don't know. Would you compare Gundam to Power Rangers? Ooh. New? I think so a little bit, at least with like the transforming 
robots. Uh, nah, Gundam's not as whimsical as. It's not stuff. okay. It's yeah, way more serious than Power Rangers. <laughs> it's only similar in that they're both robots. They pilot robots. It's a mech. They're both definitely from the mecha genre. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Gundam's more like serious, dramatic war affair. Look at this shit. Oh, all right. This shit's fucking ridiculous. I feel bad that this dude had to spend. How much did he spend on this? Uh, no, let me look it up. Yeah, I want to know the price on this <laughs> horse shit. Yo, hey, yo. All right, what's up? So maybe the price went down. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're trying to get rid of it. Look how much plastic this thing uses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's the thing I want. What is that? that is that like that Gundam perfect seat? Grade, uh, perfect grade Gundam double O. Ooh. The double O is pretty sick. Not gonna double lie. What was that? Let's see. Yo, look at that unicorn. Oh my god. Is that a perfect They're unicorn? $800 on Amazon. Right? $800 fucking dollars. Well. My God. You could start your own bee colony, or you could spend eight hundred dollars on this fucking monster toy model. I knew I should have bought this, man. Because they only print up so many of them, and then they don't. Ever what make the Neo Zeong? Well, anything like big like that, they don't. They don't keep that shit in production. Hell awesome. no, dude. They cannot like reproduce this more than once. I want to look up yeah. Neo Zeong, and then we can move along. Unless you want to look at Gunfight Nelly again. But... Oh, God. Oh, this one's cool. This is like the real grade. It's supposed to Which be one? Cool. Which one should we do here? Uh, do the top one. That guy, yeah, the guy that we just court. watched. Hey, what is up, everyone? Yo, that looks badass. That's a really cool looking model. It's sick. Oh, I forgot he had the laser fingers. Yup. I like, you know what? I like the antlers on this guy too, and with the moving like eyeball on both yeah. sides. That's so cool. <laughs> this is like a bootleg. Like this is like we made the Ultimate Gundam out of scrap parts or something. It was supposed to be uh, Zeon's like last stand. Yeah, or it's like their version of Gundam. So it's basically an evil Gundam. Yeah, and it wasn't unfinished. It, like they had to like launch it because it was supposed to have okay. legs. But uh, but they got gotta... <laughs> didn't have time. They ran out of time. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say once you get to the model community, that's like a different layer of nerdism. That's like <laughs> yeah. that's the next layer of the cake. You're piling on the nerd cake here. Really You're adding like you another off. layer of frosting. <laughs> this model looks badass though. But I'm sorry, what are you saying? No, no, I was going to say something. I don't know if it's appropriate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair. Dude, yeah. look at this awesome paint job. No. That's not even painted. Really? It's a real, it's it just a comes grade. like that. It's a real grade, huh? Like that, yeah. oh, okay. Do you prefer the real grades? Or, like, what is your favorite type of model to get? Real grades, perfect. Uh, master grades. Master. The real grades are master grades, but they're tiny. They're hmm. a pain in the ass to build. The one you got me from. Uh, the <laughs> That's a great question, Danny. I wonder how much insurance they have on the models. <laughs> what would you do if all you lost, if all your models just got lost in like a flood or something? That happened to one of our buddies. Really? Yeah, fucking, uh, what's his name's house burned down? You know? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Ken's house burned down. Yeah, yeah, all, all his yeah, Gundams all went up in flames. All his collection. He actually said the uh, insurance turned to cinder. company. The insurance company paid for it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yo, the Gundam markers, they're pretty good. The Gundanium markers. <laughs> I used to sniff those back on our tour. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> they're like paint. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy's got a really in-depth review here. Let's see, aesthetics, it's all broken up, which is why YouTube wants... Look at this him, shit. Him, him and Gundam Melty. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's do one more Gunpie. Just for... Or Gunpa. What is it? Gunpa Melt? Melly? Yeah. Yeah, Gunpa Melly Fap. <laughs> the second entry was Gunpie Melly Fap. Okay. <laughs> Did you click it? I, I no, I'm not doing that. I'm not putting in my fucking search history. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Gundam Gun Bust. Hmm, let's see here. Look it up right here. You want to look at Gunpai Melly's YouTube setup or home tour IKEA kitchen remodel? What? What is wrong with these fucking people? Why would, <laughs> you got this. why would someone type that in? It's the <laughs> second most searched thing for Gunpai Melly. It's the next thing up. She's oh, fucking shit. Makes, she makes models. She's not going to post any nudes. God hand. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, she's doing a live building of this monstrosity. Oh my god. 
Look is there a black? Is there a black market for Gundam models? I would have to imagine, right? There's got to be a black market. Yeah, a dark market. Um, for jump Gundam models, there has to be. Oh, she got the Twitch stream. You better find. You better. You better. This is your big chance, dude. You could sync right? up with Gump, go up Gump by Melee on Twitch. Get her connects, yeah. and then you have the crossover, the ultimate crossover stream. <laughs> She's gonna answer back all my fucking DMs, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, making videos about how she, how much of a bitch she is. <laughs> cease and desist. Like, I changed my mind. Gun fight Melly sucks. <laughs> oh, Melly. Why? She didn't answer my shit. Not post news. The camera angle's kind of telling. <laughs> Good shit. Dude, dude, she looks really young in this too. I don't know. That's the thing with like these nerds. It's chicks. the lighting of these nerd chicks. It just looks. You never, you never really. Know. Oh well, hold on, hold your thought yeah, right dude. there. LEDs. Have course. that as romantic lighting. <laughs> Imagine if that was the only light in the room. <laughs> it's just the gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've never hooked up with like nerdy girls. You had to do shit like this. It's like, look what you made me do. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's so sick. Yeah, put that shit on your Christmas list. Oh uh, man, actually, it's kind of affordable. It's not like really. I think it's only like five hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of affordable. It's five hundred yeah, dollars. Like, okay, it's just a giant gun. Yeah. It's a life size gun. It's a human size gun. I could put in my house. <laughs> life size. Incredible. It's not. Right. Oh, if it was really a life size Gundam, it would be like fucking like like twenty stories tall. Yeah. All right, what's it called? It's like the five foot. Wow, look at this shit. Yeah, just kind yeah. of five hundred dollars, no big deal. Yeah, it's whatever. Oh, never mind. It's uh, thirty-four hundred. Never mind. That's a lot of money. You could buy a used car for this fucking gun. <laughs> I can't believe she did. Yeah, you could do a down payment. You could do a car payment for this fucking shit. <laughs> Yo, this bitch is crazy. She spent thirty-four hundred dollars on this thing. What on this Gundam? Yeah. It's a Gundam. Think about how much money she spends on Gundams in general. It's a Gundam! <laughs> she could buy a house or a new car. Think about how much money you spend on models and be like, or even com I try to think about how much money I spend on comics sometimes. And I was like, well, I spent like yep. probably tens of thousands of dollars on this shit. <laughs> like, easy. <Yeah>. Easy. <laughs> thought about that with like coffee. And like, and how much money like, I spent oh on coffee? God. Like, fuck. I spent a thousand dollars in coffee <laughs> in like, six months. That's okay. You would have spent the money elsewhere. You yeah, can't handle so that. How much money does she make off YouTube? She has to make a lot. Uh, maybe I'm gonna they, look that shit up. I'm gonna play Melly YouTube. She's got, you like, know, she's got the Gunpla sponsors. You know, yeah, I was gonna say they, they. I hopefully she didn't have to pay thirty four hundred dollars for that. Hopefully they just sent her that. You know. No exfluencer. Hmm. You can look up their fucking earnings and shit. What? Ooh, That's all right. Cool. Turns. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Jump wow. Melly's doing all right. Wait, that's I'm a sure month. Makes more. Yeah, that's a month. No, sorry, that's each video potential earnings. Thousand no, and a half. Estimated partner. Wow, well, watching Ants Canada, the dude is building a house for just his ant colonies. What? <laughs> All <laughs> right, let's see. Gunpla Melly has got twelve point eight million views. Estimated partner earning. Per video. All right. Well, that's in the past seven days. Hold on, this doesn't make any sense to me. I yeah, should understand what? this, but I don't. <laughs> uh okay she's still got ways to go not bad so her estimated earning per month is three hundred dollars to a thousand dollars it looks huh? like and a potential earning but that's just the partners just for being a youtube partner so that's one thing add that up and now uh thousand five hundred on each video she puts out so she's making like and she probably has subscribers on twitch so yeah Probably did all right. Three or four right. grand. You can live off that. Oh, and she's got Patreon too. What is going oh, on? Yeah, let's see. Oh my God, how much does she get a month? Two hundred, two hundred bucks a month on Patreon. Oh, okay. I thought. And cents, was... yeah. <laughs> Can't forget the cents. Oh no, Gunpei Melly, what happened? You took a big dip right here. Oh, ad giant... cents, yeah. Plus ads. She does sponsor content in her videos. I'm positive. See, look at all these motherfucker Twitch announcements. Damn. Gunpei Melly. Yep, subs on YouTube. If you do a chat replay on YouTube, you can get donations. So there's a bunch of money on the table. We're not, we're not really considering here. She makes four hundred dollars a week. Okay. I, I would be very happy with that. That's an honest living. You could do an honest living. That's you're not living it up. I'm sure she gets money from all, other shit too. Yeah, but just to talk about Gundams all day. Just talk about Gundams and build Gundams. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, take that long to edit her content together. All you have to do is order Gundams, 
set the shit up in your house out. and talk about it. <laughs> like it doesn't, it takes you maybe two days to do the video content you need to do. Yeah. And she probably has like some dude on Fiverr that just edits all the shit. <laughs> Please edit my shit for $5. Yeah. Oh, wait, look up um, Jazza. I just want to know his net worth. I don't know who, who how do you spell that shit? Jazza, Jazza Art's like a famous YouTube artist. All right. Well, yeah. I'm stuck. It's a trap. Oh, All right, well, I'm trap. fucked. It's a trap. Sorry. It's a trap. All right, well, we'll look that up some other time. I want to keep moving here. I hope she's, um, I hope she's doing she's fine. doing okay. She's just doing fine. Doing, doing fine. Well, I mean, you got to wear, if you're a woman, a you got to just make it easier for yourself, man. You know? Yeah, how so? <laughs> I support, I, 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 I remember I love, really her videos. I, I support like, everyone from every... Every affiliation, every nationality, yeah. no matter what your walk of life is, I support your endeavor. I, I want everyone to do well. Especially so. if you got big ass titties. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. What's up, uh, Crazy? How you doing? Just talking about titties and gundams. Just talking about <laughs> gundams and titties. Maybe I should bring up Gunpai Melly. So far this year, she's made 76K, almost 77 on YouTube. Cover your Damn. ass. Yeah, cover your ass. <laughs> For Damn. Real. CYA. <laughs> made that C CIA, C CYA, yeah. I'm telling you, dude, you got to talk to Gunpai Melly. <laughs> yeah. Hit her Shit. up on Twitch. They're like, hey, Gunpai Melly. All business inquiries to this email <laughs> address. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Making moves like, look, I like Gundams too, and you can show her like well, your Gundam collection. Is like, then she's like, look at my Gundam collection, you fucking peasant. <laughs> like, go watch this last video, and I'm gonna be like, yo, you see the titties? You see the titties? <laughs> yeah, it's like I really like your titties. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> like this guy's a fucking asshole. He's like black. He's like called the police. <laughs> Gundam was an Evo Online this week. What? Oh yeah, I forgot how Evo Online was happening. I want to look that shit up real quick. Hold on. Wait. Game? What Gundam game is in? Oh, uh, you know what? That would be a good transition. I knew I, I wanted to originally talk about our favorite Gundam series, but let's just yeah. look up Gundam Evo Online uh, 2021. There's too many to. One of my there's too many to list. Is this one? Oh, stream one day though. Let's look. I played this game when I was in Japan. Holy fuck! Yeah. Loud. I played this game in Japan. I don't Are know what good? was going on, and I just got completely destroyed. I had no idea what was going on. I felt used and abused. <laughs> People in Japan love this shit. I I couldn't tell you what the it's, fuck was happening. Uh, I kind of want to play this game. Is this the cockpit one? No, this is the third person one. Oh. I think it's a team game. Or maybe it's 1v1. Fight me, bitch. This looks like, um... This shit makes no... Does this... Any of this, like, look at all these... What does this mean? What? Oh, it's 2v2. Okay, I thought it was a team game. Like, he's yeah. got a burst. He's got a boost. He's got weapons in the corner. There's a radar. There's, a... there's your team, like, life bar up there, dude. There's a third... There's a timer, I think? Remember your that partner, virtual like, player game that was like virtual uh, on virtual on yeah this yeah is yeah like, this is basically virtual on with gun with gun dome yo i just saw uh actually i heard about um a gundam overwatch game today where it's like a 5v5 like team-based objective game of just gundams yeah i'm gonna look that shit up too actually uh i'm into that yeah watch that yeah you should play that dude you should get, get it on the get on the ground level uh, let's see. I'm trying to look. Let's see what this, uh, this Gundam is. This is like a Zeta. It looks cool. Oh, what the Gundam? I don't can't. Can you even tell what the fuck's going on here? Because I can't. Yeah. Oh shit. That's like a Zeta. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I gotta put the. I gotta change the camera. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this shit doesn't make no goddamn sense. Damn. How do you even commentate this fucking game? <laughs> it's like, uh, he's doing a super move. He's blasting him. He's, he's yeah, there's near the edge. Uh, he punched him. He did, he did the three hit combo. Someone's getting their ass beat right now. <laughs> That's all I Someone's see. getting really jacked up. You know what this reminds me of? Gotcha Force. What's that? Uh, I'm going to show you real quick. Gotcha Force is like the Capcom beat em up game that everyone should have liked, but they didn't. Uh, what's that Gundam game? Gundam uh, Overwatch? Game. I'm going to look this shit up. It just got dropped today. I don't know what. Oh, okay. The is Philly Xer dude. Was it was it Temple Nut that was in this? Gundam Evolution. Alright, let's, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. 
Dude, this guy loves anime. Holy fuck. No. I like what it ends, like, every dude who has an sh- intro like this, where it's, like, hip-hop and anime. It always ends yeah. with Goku. Always ends yeah. with Goku every time. <laughs> I Lion Magnus. I really wish I had, like, anime. It's fucking person. Goku every time. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, I think I'm missing out. Like, I'm just... You are. Look, this could be you right now. You could be number one. Yeah. You could be hanging out with Gunpai Melee, commentating, Gundam Overwatch. You gotta get on it, man. What are you waiting for? The Ashamar is sick. That looks pretty fucking cool, actually. <laughs> this game looks pretty awesome. <laughs> GM Sniper? Oh, yeah. GM Sniper is dope. I like GM Sniper in the yeah. show. I like all the GMs. Oh, the doms. The fucking doms. All the doms. Go. Go. I have a real soft spot for a lot of the original series Gundams. I love all the Zeons. Yo, Zeon, Zabi. Zabi's awesome. Yo, you see him throw that axe up there? This game looks fucking yeah. awesome. This looks way better than Overwatch. I can't tell what the hell's going on because there's lasers flying everywhere. Oh. Though. Overwatch. Okay, that's yeah. what this Off to bed. All right, yeah, Danny. Yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate you hanging out. I really do appreciate you hanging out, man. Hopefully catch you next stream. Yeah, man. You have a good one. Peace. Good, good luck with the bees. Good luck with the bees. Well, I'll talk. Actually, damn, I'm sorry. It's too bad you're leaving now. I wanted to talk about the hobby. I have one more segment. And I want to talk about the bees for a second, but maybe next time. Kill the bees. All right. Good luck with the bees if I don't talk to you before then. Hope to see you next stream. I'll be streaming, uh, what is it? Oh, I'll stream this weekend. Yo, Ashamar, that's a really random cut. That's got to be like a healing. Is that a transforming Gundam? What the shit? Yeah, it's from Zeta. Where they... Zeta. Zeta Gundam's all like the transforming. Let me see your damn comments. All right. What was the other? Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk about Gotcha Force real quick. Then I'm going to put Gundam Extreme back on. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, I showed you this game before. I had this on uh, GameCube, but I was broke and I needed money. So I sold this game for $200 like five years ago. I was trying to pay for my uh, wedding and I was like, whoops, I fucked up. Uh Uh-oh. Wait a second. Hold on. Cult classic. Mm, Cult classic. That's me. I am a cult classic. I'm a living cult classic. (laughs) Dude, come on. Show the game. I don't want to see your dumb shit. Oh, okay. Good shit. Okay. Okay. So it's like you construct teams. There's like a point system. This guy's doing a really bad at explaining the game. You go to stage of stage. It's an anime that doesn't exist that Capcom made up. Okay, so you construct your team with a point total. You can do combos and switch out, and they all have different niches. But it's got fucking combos. Fight the ambient. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Yo. Let's see this. Look at all these fucking guys you can get. And you get, it's like a gotcha. You get gotcha guys every time, and there's different levels of rarities. It's like Pokemon fighting. Okay, that's it. It was a Pokemon fighting game. So look how cool this shit is. It's so cool. I love this game. So you could literally get like a battleship. You can get a tank, you can get like a little peon guy, or you can get a battleship that takes up like half the screen. <laughs> this game was the shit. I loved it. <laughs> it was four player too. There's no one ever heard of this game. Is it um It was a, like a sleeper Capcom game that no one played. I thought it was the shit. Cutscenes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. they got like a couple of anime cutscenes, but it's it literally there's almost no story in this game. There's no it's like Pokemon story. It's like uh Team Rocket bad. Stop the Elite Four, and <laughs> that's it. The end. Oh, okay. All right. Look at them toys. Look at that. Gotcha, Red. It'd be a tank. You could transfer. They have transformers in this game. You can combine shit. Yeah. Look at that. See. Titan robot. Nice. You can turn into Samurai Man. There's the enemy. Gotcha Force will be remembered by That's the final blow. I love this game. This game's the goddamn shit. Look, you blow it up on the goddamn Earth stage. It will be a giant spaceship. That was kind of a bad video, though. But... You got 200 bucks. For... Wait, see how much this game's going for now. All right, all right. <laughs> you... Let's see how much yeah. it's going for. How much could I have made if I waited a decade? <laughs> uh, shopping? GameCube? $300. I could have made an extra 100 bucks. <laughs> Okay. Oh no, six hundred. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> Factory what? sealed six thousand dollars. Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay, hundred seventy five bucks. No, that's probably like the strategy guide. There's only six hundred dollars. What? Do you keep all the stuff that comes with the games? No, I fuck it up. <laughs> no, I fuck it up. <laughs> uh, damn. I was gonna say. Damn. I try to keep all those, like the booklets and everything. This is basically what I, what this guy had here is what I had. 
had the case. Okay. Doing that. I didn't write my name in it. It wasn't like a blockbuster. I always got mad when people wrote their name on used games. I was like, man, this motherfucker like wrote his game wrote his name on the cart, this asshole. Uh, it's even worse than they write it on the disc. It's like Jimmy or Bimmy's. I was this like, is God. Jimmy's copy. It's like, fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> Has anyone buy it for that much? I sold my copy for two hundred bucks or two fifty actually back in the day. Who so, you sell it to? I don't know, just somebody. <laughs> I uh, I just sold it on eBay, oh, some eBay? random guy. Oh, yeah. okay. I sold it on eBay, Shmeebay. Uh, what else we got here? No, I'm not selling Beyblade. Beyblade, twelve bucks. Yeah, got you for us eight hundred fucking dollars on eBay. Wow. Good God. That's sealed though, isn't it? Nice. Factory sealed. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck are people getting factory sealed? Like, are these like people know, that man. have like game stores or something? Like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> do you have anything that's still factory sealed? I have no, I, dude, I play. I play with my toys. When I was, yeah. I was not someone who. I think there's only one time I was like, because they were marketing it this way. Like when I was really little, in like grade school, they were selling some of the Star Wars toys. And yeah. It's like, the collector's editions and like collectors. they left the you know when they leave like the the number they write it to Marco it's like this much out of three thousand yeah those are like Star Wars micro machines that are like silver or something and I was like I gotta hang on to it I don't know someday I'm gonna sell these and then I just left them in the basement they got water damage and they fucking use it <laughs> someday I'm yeah. gonna make a lot of money off this these Star Wars someone's gonna want these micro machine Star Wars toys like no no There's they're not <laughs> so many people that like every time one of these crazes happens they're just like fuck. <laughs> like Pokemon, this is all oh, Logan my... Paul's fault. <laughs> did he fucking screw the pooch? Did he? Yeah, of course. Did he I mean, fuck he... up the whole Poke market? Hold on. I think he's like connected to Pokemon somehow. I don't know. I don't know why he's going so hard with Pokemon. Like, I don't believe how that expensive he's... is Tar? I don't believe that he's into Pokemon. Like, he doesn't seem like a nerd. I... No, he's just he's just here to destroy the market, the bookie market. Yeah, like I think he just was like, "Yo, you want to do this?" Like I think he did it as like a, whoa, dude, like, as like a joke. Prank. Oh, and the joke's on us. Like, yeah. Look at this! Look at this nerd shit. What up, Hard Squad? What up, Hard Squad? I hate this dude. <laughs> Are these guys you know, nerds? Dude is. There's no way this guy plays Pokemon on <laughs> for real. <laughs> He used to be a lawyer, and then he quit his job to be a Pokemon. A YouTuber. Yeah. He quit his job to be a Pokemon trainer. Hey, what's the deal? I feel like Pokemon Go is like having a little mini resurgence or something. Is it? Beanie Baby craze? Yeah. I wonder how much Beanie Baby or Beanie Baby's still a thing. It might be. I used to have a fuck ton of Beanie Babies. Really? I always thought that shit was kind of stupid. Yeah, Pokemon Go Fest this weekend. What happened? I thought Pokemon Go was gone. Or like. Yeah. Pokemon Go sucks. The game's wack. Uh, you're crazy. Pokemon Go is the shit. Hold on. <laughs> There's a Vince McMahon post to Pokemon. Hold on. Uh, Pokemon Go. Yeah, I'm going to find this up for posterity. He has a funny goes, Twitter post. He goes, what up, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you saw that clip? <laughs> he's telling he's telling uh, Gastly to get the fuck out of the gym. <laughs> get out of my weight room. Damn, so. And that's his own custom weight room, too. But yeah, P.S. Uh, straight yo, to Titan Towers. Still- <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. You're trying to go up to against this? I don't think so. Vince McMahon still be pumping pumping iron. How old still is he? Still pumping iron. It's like 70. He's still pumping iron at 4 in the morning. Damn. Can you imagine getting your ass beat by a 70, 70 year old man? Wait a second. So, Beanie Baby prices skyrocket? Yeah. Top 15 highest selling Beanie Babies? Pawn Stars Beanie Babies? I kind of want to watch this yeah. for a second. Yeah. Teeny Beanie Babies. Let's see. Oh, the McDonald's limited to Beanie Babies. Pokemon Go, it? George Bush. <laughs> wow. Britannia the Bear? What? I don't remember this shit. I used to have the maple one. I was never into it. I think my sister was kind of into it, but nobody I knew really was into Beanie Babies. Yeah. Is this guy really a pawn star? Seems my mom used to travel, and she would always bring one back. So that's not oh, it. okay. Or... Wait, is this guy selling his Beanie Babies? Is he He's selling, selling it for TRT? What is he going with? They're going to be worth like $2. Like Incredible Hulk. No one cares about Beanie Babies anymore. Is that uh, Chumley or whatever? Yeah. What happened? He lost, a ton, yeah. happened? He lost a ton of weight. He looks like emaciated. Yeah, he uh, lost a bunch of weight. Uh, I think he got fired from the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Because he was like hoarding money or something. He was doing some weird shit. Come on, Chumley. I know. All right, all right. How much did you get for this? Fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta wear the baggy shirts, man. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, most, head, well, if you have like a lipo, it's just like it's not healthy. <laughs> really, not really healthy. Your your head doesn't shrink, you know. You still get that. Big I mean, your, head. your skeletal frame is still your skeletal frame. Yeah. Where's everyone else? Is it just Chumley? Is this an outtake? Good luck tonight. Thank you. Huh. All right. Well, we got a big is that really all he sold it for? Wait. If you're listening to what Steve has it's no Charizard. I'd be willing to buy him for about ten dollars. I know that's a lot less than fifteen hundred. Fired for drugs and had some fun issues at home. I think, man. I think I'll hold on to him for another twenty. Come on, Chumley. I'll tell you what. You ten dollars. Twenty years, I'll give you five bucks for the set. How about that? Man, what an asshole. Ten dollars. I was. I would have punched him. In the I would have jumped over the counter and strangled him or something. It wasn't even a team. It was microscopic. Damn. Wow. Well. Don't ever pawn anything. Pawn pawn shops are fucking. They're here to take your money. They, they, this shit shouldn't be allowed. That they can. This should be allowed. <laughs> a professional haggler. Yeah, it's so fucked up. They take yeah. your shit. And they sell it for like four times its worth. Just like Gotcha Force. <laughs> Six thousand dollars gotcha force. Who the hell is selling this game for six thousand dollars? It's graded. Oh. oh my god, it's graded. <laughs> it's like Magic the Gathering. Now we're grading video games. No, Come on. We'll grade anything. That's like next level like epitome of nerd stuff where it's like, you know, like no. I'm graded. And you have the grade, you're like you have something to tell you how perfect your copy is. And then you just put it on your shelf. Like you're not gonna play yeah, the game. So you can't ever play it now. Like you can't ever do You can't anything. touch it, you can't even look at it sideways, you can't put it in direct sunlight. Dude, in the Pokemon community, Ooh, there's people that sick. bring those cards to like, um, they bring them to shows, and then like people like hold them. I'm like, dude, you guys are fucking losers. That's some <laughs> Jesus. shit right there, dude. <laughs> I mean, and I dude, ran a couple Pokemon tournaments back in the day, so. No, this Pokemon game rules. This game was cool. the shit. <laughs> but like hanging out with someone that has like a graded Charizard, and you take a picture with it, and I'm like, dude. Oh, they're like. Which yeah, they're like, oh, check it out, I'm holding it. It's a, <laughs> it's a PSA 10. Shit. I will get a hammer, break that fucking little... <laughs> I don't think you can hammer a card. The 40-year-old version, that. seriously. Yeah, fuck out of here. Check out my um, Charizard, bro. I All don't right. know, great. Fucking stupid to me. That's dumb. All right. Well, one thing let's let's end on a let's end on a high note question mark. I mean, all yeah. this Gundam shit is basically a hobby. What are some hobbies yeah. you've gotten into on the twilight years of your life? <laughs> oh man, what are some hobbies? Yeah, well, you said you want to talk about getting into hobbies in the twilight oh. years of your life, so. Oh yeah, yeah. So I. I put I'm up this video good. just for yucks. I'm sure I want to pull up a B one a little bit later on. But this is probably a stupid video. We'll see. It's like right. What the fuck is this? Right. Talking Make about? pottery. It's just like fifty hobbies. Uh, hey, don't worry, I'll find some other videos. Just, <laughs> you can just go. <laughs> oh okay, okay. So she's telling you what you should or try. Or try. try it out. I made a giant uh, origami crane the other day. Try acting? <laughs> yeah, try. you should try drawing sometimes. Sure it's, drawing. Drawing. it's easy. It's fucking easy. <laughs> yeah, you can learn in 30 days, sure. If you've watched Oats. that video, maybe. Mm. Oats. Try digital art. Yeah. Art. Okay, yeah, that's it's not bad. Good. It's pretty good. Yeah, wow, she's making us all look stupid here. <laughs> she can scrapbook. She can film make. Uh, I would love to make a film. I could see you being an auteur. Yeah, I, I can do that. That'd be fun. Active hobbies. Cool. Try soccer. Soccer's fun. Soccer's I fun. Try football. Which He's one? Like, which one? Ooh. <laughs> Looks like the start of a... Never mind. I'm try swimming. Try that. weightlifting. Try b-ball. Yeah, I love b-ball. b-ball is shit. Basketball. Look, she learned it in one day. Wow. This is like a I... video to promote her other videos. <laughs> this is ingenious. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Dude, women are smart, man. Really women smart. Are... <laughs> men are fucking stupid. They're really dumb. Men are so fucking, <laughs> fucking dumb. Fucking <laughs> We're dumb as hell. I would never <laughs> be able to do a video like this. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Try cycling. All right, but yeah. So, what is it, the main hobbies you've been up to? Would you consider Muay Thai even a hobby at this point, or not? Nah, or it's a really serious hobby, just like gun dance. It was a hobby until I started like you know fighting. Now going it's not. yeah, it's not a hobby anymore if you're going out there for martial arts. Hey, yeah. you're right there. You're yeah. like three out of fifty. <laughs> you're right there with her got like six of these hobbies <laughs> <laughs> and i'm trying to use them all to make money archery uh, oh, i wouldn't mind doing an archery that'd be cool I do it, archery. Yeah. um i recently picked parkour up... is a hobby good luck all right horseback riding Let's nah i don't trust horses do you i don't booty loops again booty loops yeah to... oh yeah you're telling me about that yeah she's going way too fast <laughs> cooking bar gardening, gardening. what about garden. you you doing boxing boxing uh 
I mean, I have too many hobbies already. It usually involves some bullshit involving video games, but yeah, drawing, boxing, uh, I guess gardening a little bit. Um, yeah. Hiking, uh, long walks on the beach, you know, all the usual stuff. <laughs> That's not a hobby. No. <laughs> I wish there was a beach around here. Um, what about pottery? Pottery actually sounds kind of cool. I did pottery back in the day. I'm not doing speed cubing. It's not happening. Uh, oh, board games. You know, I was I had a board game phase for a hot second because I'm like, I'm going to entertain people. I'm not, you know, put my video games on the shelf. I don't want to play that shit yeah. anymore. I'm going to entertain people when they come to my house. We're going to play board games. It's serious. Or like we're going to play card games like poker or like card Go Fish games. or something. Card games. Yeah, we're card play games. Poker, blackjack. <laughs> Although Actually, it just feels like devolves into like, I want to play Uno now <laughs> or something. I want to learn how to play that shit. I want to learn how to play poker. I want to learn how to play like all like the 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 shit the games you can make money on. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> a personal ad basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bird watching, uh, yeah. I I'm, I'm yeah bird watching. That's next for me. Yo, gambling, yeah, gambling. That's a good yeah. hobby. <laughs> Lose all your money or make some money. <laughs> fishing, fishing's actually kind of thrown. I went fishing on a boat once. Oh shit, musical hobby. She's talking to you right now. Hey, this bitch can't sing. Uno Let's and see. friendships. What is Uno and friend? I know Uno. I don't know anything about friendships though. What is the? What is that second yeah. part? <laughs> Usually they don't friends. go hand in hand. You got no friends. <laughs> what is this? Uh, rap. Rap. Dude, Have you tried you know, that before? Thirty days. Uh, I'll watch that video. <laughs> we play guitar. Hey, she got the Alexis. Saxophone. Where did she get all this stuff from? How could she afford a saxophone and a piano? Yeah, oh, and friendships. <laughs> I thought you said and. Yeah, Uno does uh, end friendships. I feel like yeah, poker yeah. does that too, but I love Uno. Uno, 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 will, Uno will start a fist fight. <laughs> that there's a Catan will start a fucking war in the Start league. World War Three. And then chess. you know when I already try, you're always like, you know, one of these days I'm gonna play Monopoly and we're gonna finish this fucking game, or like nope. we're gonna play Risk and we're gonna finish this fucking game. I was like. Who wants to play Ants in the Pants instead? <laughs> like, who wants to play? Never finished any of those games. This you game played the other uh, Milton Bradley go right? Yeah, it's just <laughs> not happening. You played Ants in the Pants and Don't Break the Ice, and uh, I forget the other one. Uh, uh, is video games a hobby? No, <laughs> don't do it. The, we're talking about candy, video games, uh, Call of Duty, Starcraft, Zelda, <laughs> and Animal Crossing. One of these things is not like the other. Starcraft Two or Animal Crossing. Okay. <laughs> what's happening right now? <laughs> She's talking about video games as a hobby. Oh. And I was huh. like, uh, phase 10. What the fuck, phase 10? Video games is like a fucking addiction. Like, that's not a. Yeah, addiction. it's not a hobby. It's addiction. <laughs> it definitely is an addiction. That's my hobby that takes up all my time. Yeah. It, <laughs> but like, if this was the 90s, yeah, because like video games were like $30 back then. Now video games are like $100 just for like What's a the fucking. LC? Yeah, the DLC and all that shit. You're not YouTube. Wait, she's broke the algorithm. She's starting. She went way past 50. Start a business. You try that hobby yet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This little that fucking one. art turned into a business. All right, let's look up. Let's look up phase 10. This lying bitch. No, <laughs> you bitch. I can't believe she would lie to me like that. All right, phase. let's see. This looks like Yahtzee plus Uno. Hold on. Is this, uh, you know, for a hot second, I was trying to learn, seriously learn how to play checkers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get good at checkers. I might not be good enough for chess, but I'm good enough for checkers. Wait, what's the difference? Uh, have you not played chess or checkers? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just like checkers is like kind of similar. It's that there's like literally like one tenth of the moves and strategy involved. There's still strategy, but just like one, like there's a lot less movement. It's much more simple than chess, I'd say. Uh, okay. In terms of yeah, like yeah, what I mean, the pieces do, you never play chess or checkers. Yeah, this phase ten that. looks like uh, like, that logo looks like it should be like uh, like dishwasher detergent or something. Like the side of like a the fake Pepsi. Yeah, <laughs> RC Cola and uh, or no, it's like Doctor Publix or something. <laughs> Doctor Publix. Publix. I love gro actually I love grocery store Doctor Pepper offshoots. Yeah. They're way better than Doctor Pepper. Dude, the 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 Doctor Perky. Yeah. Dude, is fucking sick. What's it called? What's the grocery store name? It's like uh, it's like Doctor. It's like Mountain Lion or some Mountain shit. Mountain Lion. <laughs> Mountain Lightning or something like that. Fucking good. Wait, this looks a lot like Uno. What is this? I just freeze. Right. Now you're good. All right. We're live, pal. So wait hey, a second. Uh, this looks like President Uno or something. 
Presidente, you know? Presidente. No, Presidente's an actual another real card game. Oh. This looks like Uno with more rules. Maybe better Uno or Uno Poker. Hmm. I don't know. We should learn how to play chess in 30 days. We should, this should be our hobby. I mean, I'm halfway there. I just need to learn some of the more advanced moves. Right. You're gonna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do it, man. I'm fucking gonna do it. Do it. I suggest. I, I support. Oh, this. Fuck this guy. Oh, ten phase you have to get. Okay. All right. I saw the rules now, and that makes more sense because it's called phase ten. <laughs> Royal jelly. Mm, all right. Because I want to make my own honey. Who's got the, the honey? Fucking, Me. The queen is like talking to this dude telepathically. The queen bee is like. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> it's like. Oh, what is he doing? Look at that honeycomb. Mm. Oh shit, that's crazy! Don't you, you want some honey? Bruce? Yeah, just go. Yo, my this. neighbor gave me some the other day. It was like crazy. It tasted like a gummy bear. It was like uh, okay. natural honey. That actually Dude, sounds pretty cool with the game. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. Actually, I've been looking for some new board games, but Home Honey Bees Online. This dude's being very straightforward. What he wants to do. Look at his bee like, house. He's got bee shit everywhere. It. I'd hang out with him. Yeah, I'd hang out with this guy. I get Seems a coffee. Like, with cool. Him. Yeah. I talk about bees over a cup of coffee. We'll see. <laughs> you should go to um the at Bartram's Garden. They do like a bee fest. A bee fest? What the fuck? I didn't even heard of that. It's like all honey. We went there one year. Got a bunch of good honey. It was cool. So that's legit bee house, huh? There's oh, okay. Because you make it by they make it by honeycomb and the honeycomb, and you take the layers out, and that's how they get the shit off. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, dude, just move to West Philly. Like, all the people there have, like, Look at them this bees. Shit. They're going at it. What are those other bug guys there, though? Uh, are those, them? uh, nah. Maybe. I don't think so. Wait, you put veggie oil in the frame? Man, he's giving you all the tips. Do yeah. you ever see those bee guys, the guys who sell honey on the side of the road? You know mm. what I'm talking about? They sell, like, with different varieties of honey on the side of the road. Maybe it's a PA thing. Like, uh, out in the suburbs. But out in the suburbs yeah, in, like, like you know, Hope shit kickerville and, like, New Hope. Yeah. They'll like have these little dudes, like the little, you know, like the little uh, yeah. pickup trucks of selling honey, and people just chilling out there. Yep, that is. Yeah, probably. Yeah, actually, I did pull over. <laughs> there was one really close to my uh, old apartment. I just went over yeah. there and I got like, you know, sriracha honey or whatever bullshit flavor they had. <laughs> yeah, dude, that fucking dude. And every day I was just like honey with a spoon. It's like I got to get rid of this honey. <laughs> I got to use the honey, Nothing or just make it toast every day. <laughs> man like fresh, fresh honey. fucking honey is the shit not squeezed out of a machine's ass i want to squeeze out of the queen small beetles yeah that's what i thought i was thought they were like really i want to call them roly polies but i don't think those are roly polies for the little what? other bug guys the black bugs that were on um what we were looking at a second ago why are there oh he's got honeybee health there's actually shit you can get for it wait it's a second sugar. hold on oh yeah carve it out that's what i love that's what I want to do. Look at that shit. Mm -mm, get that honeycomb. Ooh. Can you eat the honeycomb? Oh, hell yeah. You can eat the honeycomb. What? I thought it was just wax. Mm -mm. It's funny. At the bee stand, they got like, they were selling these like little pollen things you could put in your salad. Because I was just buying shit. You know, I'm a mark. I love buying uh, gimmicky stuff like that. So I'm like, while I'm here, I better get more than one thing. So I got the, like toppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the honey you, doesn't go bad. Uh, you That's why we got to protect the bees, dude. If we don't have the bees, you ain't got no food. You got no vegetables. We're going to die. If the bees dies, we're done. We're done. Yeah, man. They pollinate everything. Pollinate everything. Without the bees, we're fucking cooked. I like when you see the bees like flying and they got all the pollen on their like legs. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. It looks like they had like just sneezed or something on the flower. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> and you get the little honeycomb thing right there. Look at that. I fuck with it. Now it's making me kind of hungry. <laughs> that's, I'm a, hungry. that's a home scraper. Schedule. Yeah, something like that. Hey, quick side note. Well, Fucking, do you like honeycomb cereal? I haven't eaten yeah, cereal in like the decade. You like cere You like honeycomb? Yeah, but they, it doesn't taste like honey anymore. It, it doesn't taste like, like, it never tasted like honey. <laughs> yeah. I it just like, tastes like cereal. It does, I don't even know how to describe it. It just tastes like honeycomb. <laughs> it's like, um... What, what, yeah, what does honeycomb taste like? Because I'm always let down. Every time I buy a box of it, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be the shit. Like and then I eat it, and I'm just like, oh, it's just sweet. like just Sweet corn something. Cereal. Sweet corn. Like, yeah, it's just oats. Yeah. yeah, it's just like sweet oats, like like glazed oats or something. <laughs> or maybe that's it. It tastes more like donuts than like honey or something. 
Yeah, and it gets soggy really quick, so you have to like fucking like hulk it down. All right, um, yeah, I'll my, take you up on that, Danny. Um, my go-to is Reese's Pieces. Dude, that cereal. You can't eat more than one bowl of that cereal. That is Are a card. <laughs> if you're insane, maybe. Are you like Dude, I, coked out the rest of the day? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like on one after after I eat a bowl or two of that. Ever <laughs> do you go from ten to one or one to ten? Yeah, dude, I go from one to ten in like a fucking second. It's crazy. Is your heart just like you're like the nemesis? You got the car, you got the car engine on your heart like nemesis. <laughs> yeah. I got the fucking worm coming out of my. Hand <laughs> you got the fucking Ouroboros coming out of your ear. <laughs> oh. Wait, so have you made honey yet? Mm-mm. No, I haven't. I've barely started. I've barely done anything. Because I was under the impression you needed two acres before you could do anything. But then I see people in like my neighborhood, like a nice suburban neighborhood, have like a fucking chicken coop. So I'm like, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, who gives a shit? Just don't rat out on people. Yeah, just don't rat anybody out. Ask them, motherfuckers. Honor system. Killer bees. Yeah, be like, yo. Damn, that's a lot of honey. Hey, man, maybe you could start the honey business in Chicago. Uh, Golden grams. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is the other honey cereals? I don't, I don't, I, Golden Grams, I'm on the fence. Sometimes I really like it, and I feel like they changed the recipe at some point, and I was like, I don't know if I like Golden Grams anymore. Yeah, they put the, the they changed it. In it. Yeah, it's, that's right. Doesn't taste, they used to, as a kid, you'd get a pack of those. Oh my like, god. Oh yeah, it was a Golden Grams, baby. What's the <laughs> other, I don't know about how I feel about Honey Nut Cheerios either. Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks. Oh, Sugar Smacks? Or just Smacks? Smacks. Sugar Smacks. Yeah. You like the frog? Who is that the guy? <laughs> That fucking frog is that awesome. Frog. Frog is Actually, I was a big fan. Uh, what about Golden Crisp though? Mm. Compared yeah, to Smacks, too, what's too better bad. though? I always like to fight. I always like starting shit with cereals that are extremely similar, like those two. Which ones? Golden Crisp or uh, Sugar Smacks? They're the same fucking thing. It's just about. Golden Crisp? No, Golden Crisp were like uh, like the little wave guys. No, the... they were oats. <laughs> no, Sugar Smacks is like the oats. Those. No, they're both oats. I'm telling you. Golden All grams? right, you sorry, I have to pull this up now. I'm sorry. Uh, Golden, sugar Golden smacks. Grams, right? Sugar smacks and yeah, Golden was... Grams. Wait, no, not Golden Grams. What was the other one? Um, yeah, God, Golden Sugar grams. Bear. <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm just looking up Sugar Smacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sugar Smacks and um, I know what you're talking about. Honey, Honey smacks. smacks. Whoa. Wait Don't a second. Don't they both frog too? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. Golden Chris. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, Golden Chris. Yeah, those are the same series. This dude knows what he's talking about. I'm turning this shit oh, off. Oh, dude, I've always wanted to do this. I'm glad This could else. be you. <laughs> That's good. I wanted to start a serial podcast so bad. Let, let me see the view count. Let me see if this is worth it. 3,000. <laughs> 1,000? Oh, that's not worth the cavities. Not worth it. <laughs> not worth the cavities with the Becky Lynch cereal box. Yo, can you imagine you come home? From a date with this guy, the date went really well, and, and he's got a cereal like, wall of cereal in his apartment. <laughs> come back to him. I was like, "Let's come to the crib." He's like, he's Look at like, my cereal uh, wall of cereal boxes. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna go home. Sorry. Like, you know what? I'm gonna go home. I had a really great time. I'll call you back later. <laughs> I feel like this, these boxes could easily be women's. Oh, heads. hold on. So. <laughs> it's certainly turned into Silence of the Lands with cereal. <laughs> yeah. What's the wait? Wait. What's the new count on this? I can't see. Nine thousand. So it's a little, it's an older couple who compare cereal, and they're actually eating it on camera. So, all right. So who's better, Honey Smacks the Frog, who's definitely on some shit, or Yo, Sugar Bear? I'm so glad this is happening right now because I've had this idea for years. <laughs> We're talking about cereal. Oh, I love to talk about cereal, man. <laughs> I'm Maybe glad next it's time. Not a good idea to do. It's, you figured out it's not a great idea. <laughs> it's not a, yeah. It turns out. People just want to talk about it, but they don't want to watch a video about it, really. Yeah, like, no one's breaking, like, 100,000 views on these, so that's good. Yeah, it's not worth the cavities, as you said. I'll fuck up some cereal, though. I love cereal. But anyway, all I wanted to show this for is they're the same type of cereal. Look. Look at the shit yeah. on the box. It's yeah, the same fucking really. thing. They're both oats. <laughs> uh, why does Golden Chris have the teddy bear? Is it teddy bear? It's a bear. It's just a fucking bear. <laughs> but they're the same oh, thing. They're oats. Bears. Bears eat honey. I'm dumb. Buffalo like, Bill. Yeah, that's exactly what I was referencing. It's a Buffalo yeah, Bill like, with cereal boxes on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that guy's a fucking maniac. Dude, Buffalo Bill is sick. He's that's he's the best part of the movie. Buffalo Boo. <laughs> Dude, don't don't shove the cereal box at the camera. It's not adjusting. You gotta wait till it adjusts there, sweetie. Now this is true love. Getting on camera with yeah, your like significant this. other. I, I like 
couple. I'd hang out with this couple. Yeah. They're definitely MAGA supporters, but I, I <laughs> MAGA. I, really uh, I don't care. Your political affiliation matters less than your serial serial affiliation. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they're like pretty racist, but they're pretty welcoming at the same time. <laughs> I think they're all right. I don't think you would make a serial podcast if you. <laughs> If yeah, you were a bad person, think. why would you make a serial parrot yeah. cat? You probably have better things to do if you were hateful or something. Wait, can we, like, let's explore this channel for a second. I'm, I'm very curious. You really to want to know what else is on this channel? Danny <laughs> and... They're made by the same company? Wow. It's probably, you know what? You know what's happening, Danny? They're probably just putting in the same fucking box. It's just a conveyor belt. One Sugar Smacks and one Golden Crisp. It's like the left just and like, right Ooch. Twist. Ooch. No, for oh, they review food? This is the best channel ever. I'm going to subscribe to this channel. They got 10,000 subscribers. All right, maybe it is worth doing. All right. Tattoos of the moth, and they don't know why, because it's some famous, yeah. Right, so <laughs> they just don't know. And was it Golden Crisp? They're made by the same company. Let's see. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cookies. Wow, these guys go deep. Holy shit. This wasn't a, this wasn't a dark hole. I was willing to go down this time. Hey. This Yo, is a fucking are, spiral. <laughs> I would fuck those up. Dude, we all know that Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal of all time. Serious goat goat cereal. It hits all the check marks. It's good by itself. Doesn't get soggy. You can eat it multiple times. Tastes Yo, great as desserts. I feel like there's a really good hidden story here that we're like a, a really good funny about like, this HBO channel. Show. No, not about this channel, about like sugar crisp and honey smacks. Like like the feud, like I, I feel <laughs> the like feud that they're, really they're friends, good, like one season show. What the fuck? Yo, this. dude, here, dude, I this channel is blowing my mind. I might have to subscribe. <laughs> oh, shit. she's it's going hard. Yeah, she's going super he hard. He looks like he hasn't slept in like years. Jesus Christ, dude, he's probably been married for 50 years. So, what do you think? <laughs> he looks, she looks like she's getting like some good sleep. He yeah. looks like he, he's not getting this lick of sleep, he's not gonna wink. He's like. All right, so they're comparing protein bars of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Golden Grams. This can't possibly be good for you after, like, you – can you finish – imagine finishing your workout, like, tough workout, you're just lift, lifting weights, whatever. You're like, I'm having Golden Grams. I'm having Golden Grams protein bar. You know what it's I like, did the other day, though, after a workout? Snickerdoodles. <laughs> What's up? Across the street. I went to the McDonald's across the street after a workout, and I got a, um, a fucking chocolate shake, and it was awesome. Because I heard that you it's like what it just like completely nuke whatever you just did. <laughs> no, Although I have done that before, where like you work out super hard, it's like yeah, I felt good, and you just ruin it and go to like Wawa or something, just eat all that yeah. terrible shit afterwards. I don't, I don't care about calories. I don't like, I'm gonna look. Get I get I'll home. get rid of it. Yeah, that's fine. To eat. I mean, when you go <laughs> at most, it's probably milk fine. after a workout is supposed to be like really good for you. So. Okay, well, what do you know? It worked out, man. Dude, this good. channel is actually pretty awesome. I <laughs> this is a gold mine here. Hi, Damn, everyone. Everything. That's crazy. Tammy Dunn. This is Tammy's channel. Yo, Tammy. I don't know, Tammy. Like, these videos. Maybe you don't know. I, uh. But she's got so many people following her channel. She's got 10,000 people. Yeah, that's crazy. But there's, like, the, the views aren't that much. There's, oh, yeah. Pizza review. Of... Hold on. <laughs> there's a lot of sweets, man. There's a know. brewski. Beer and. Actually, I like these pizzas. This is my backup plan pizza. If I if I if we ran out of food around the house, this is the pizza I usually get. I've been getting lately because I like gimmicks. It's got good packaging. Uh, uh, are they good? Yeah, I think they're decent for for fucking Dude. pizza you get at the grocery store. Sure. <laughs> oh my man, he needs to fucking sleep. Maybe she just keeps him up doing these fucking videos. Dairy Queen dip <laughs> dip cone. Oh yeah, Dairy Queen is the shit. Dairy oh Queen my god, the, <laughs> they're reviewing gimmick hey, cereals. Damn. You remember the Star Wars cereal? I'm trying to remember other bullshit cereals. I always get afraid of these cereals. Even when I was younger, I was like, hmm, I don't know. Yo, this no, Space Jam cereal, this looks like leftover, like, Count Chocula. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, put yeah. it in a little bit of Saints LeBron or something. <laughs> just like, yeah, Saints LeBron in the like, basketball. This is definitely some leftovers in the factory. Dude, I used to love Count Chocula, and they changed the recipe. This shit is horrible now. I wonder what their house looks like. It must be just filled to the brim with, like, un uneaten, like... <laughs> I wonder what their doctor says about them eating all this horrible shit all the time. <laughs> it's all so bad for you. They're doing energy drink comparisons. Holy shit. Look how many minutes. They're putting out a video like every day. Look how many fucking Damn. videos they have. Hold on a Damn second. Die. 
How many do they have? How many fucking uh, where? Uh, huh. uh, Playlist. That, oh shit. That's a lot of fucking. That's a lot of candy. Yo, Captain food. Crunch. Captain Crunch is like the ultimate flawed cereal. <laughs> it's like, Dude, Captain Crunch cereal rips. What are you talking? About? I know it rips, but it also rips the roof of your mouth. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, and it gets yeah. soggy as hell. Yeah, you gotta eat it quick. It's, it's like those. choco, uh, choco donut crunch. Captain it's Captain Crunch has like got a memeable, memeable cereals. The bottom half gets soggy before the top half does. Yeah, so dude, it's like, yeah, it's like throw this shit out. Captain Crunch doesn't give a fuck anymore. He's just making treats. Do they have kids? Like, why is she buying all this fucking like junk food? This guy's. I hope I'm like this guy when I get older. <laughs> crunch berries I, bar. I, I peanut butter. He looks like a like a Albanian. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what what is this shirt actually? Is that a video game shirt? I think it is. Yeah. It's like Halo. Yeah, it's like no, it's Donkey Kong. Hey, Halo. What? <laughs> it's like yeah. Joust and Donkey Kong. This is what happens when you play video games. You make, you get like when you hit like fifty or sixty. This is what happens. Dude, you wear video game like, shirts and you start reviewing cereal breakfast bars on your channel. There's like no comments on these. Weird. It's because people just want to see. The people want to see. I don't know. This is channel is like, God, I can't even imagine how many like channels and videos are on YouTube. But we're giving. Oh, here's the views. bullshit you do. You do sweet tarts. <laughs> yeah, these are great. Sweet tarts are awesome. I fucking hate sweet tarts. Are horrible. <laughs> you just put it on your tongue, dude. Fucking dissolve. <laughs> That's not how it works. Great. I like a, I like chalky candy. It's, I know it's I, not... I'm not a fan of chalky candy. I, sometimes, sometimes, oh. but not not really. Because you get the little chalk and you can just kind of... You're like, oh, oh, hold so on. Sugar. Oh, my God. Dairy Queen dip cone. Oh, yeah, man. I'll fuck up a Dairy Queen dip cone right now. Oh, yeah, this is the shit. Oh, they do okay, it. these are the shit. Actually, I take it back. <laughs> Tammy and uh, Tammy Dunn and her husband. Oh, they, they do it. All right, the Butterscots. <laughs> Damn, these guys rule. Ooh, they got 10k views on this, and they're doing it in the car. The butterscotch sounds good. These these guys are awesome. I know. Doing the full drive-through experience and talking about it. This guy probably. This guy is probably. Oh, it's, look, it's the dipped butterscotch cone. I don't know about butterscotch. I, I have mixed feelings about butterscotch. Then they got cotton candy too. How many colors did they get? Just Tammy's two. gonna. Tammy's gonna take a fucking mean dump later too. You know I mean? <laughs> Look at him; he's so worried. He's like, "Oh fuck!" It's like shit. How far do I have to drive to go home? I'm trapped in the car. <laughs> like, oh my god. The 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 the, 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 auto, <laughs> the, uh, the window love, is stuck. I love these two. I I, I want to know more about them. I, I probably like pretty cool. I would hang out with them. Yeah, they're doing this. I he's just, just, he's just trying to live his life. He's just having fun I with his life. I wish he get some sleep, man. He needs fucking sleep. I think it's like, from all the horrible food he's eating. He's probably jacked up on sugar, so he can't go to yeah. sleep. I don't sure. think I'm going to sleep tonight. I ate so much sugar before this podcast. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> I, I, I specifically chugged, didn't, so I wouldn't stay up forever and ever because I'm going to die. I chugged, a Red Bull, I chugged a Red Bull. I chugged a Squirt, and then I ate like What the hell's a Squirt? <laughs> never had a Squirt. Never oh, had yeah, the twist. Oh, never mind. It's been like a decade plus since I've had a, had one of them. I ate like half a bag of uh, watermelon sweet tart things. So. You know, when I'm on the road, I always think of like, uh, you know, you get to the little stops and uh, at the rest stop, we eat the rest stop like Wendy's and like the rest stops like uh, like Popeye's and shit. Mm. Oh, so. Dairy Queen. Do you remember, so I, I kind of want to say this for another podcast, but I want to bring it up for a second. Do you were you going to Wendy's when they had the buffet? No. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> never would I ever go to the Wendy's buffet. <laughs> did you? You did the Pizza Hut buffet too, right? Right. Yeah. I don't know. Even All as right. a kid, before I knew about like what being a germaphobe was, I was always skeeved out. By that skeeved shit. out. It's like, wait, what? All the yeah. Like, what happens when you go to like Ruby Tuesdays and there's the, the endless salad bar? You're like. Pass. I'm good. <laughs> nope. A lot of people have been near that salad. I'm not going near it. It's like a lot of people are getting those raw eggs. I'm good. Those hard boiled eggs are are out there. I'm like, fuck. Yo, that. when you see the oysters, they're all oysters at the bar. Like, mm. oh. Or like when you get the like green pudding, it's like, oh, get the pudding. Here's a giant vat of pudding. 
with a bunch of people you don't know sticking their um, rummy mitts on. The worst <laughs> is like sushi. I've been to like a Chinese buffet where they had sushi out there. I can't like, help. I'm on a bash. I love fucking sushi buffets and Chinese buffets. I know it's the worst idea in the world, mm, but oof, that's I'll pushing. take it. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> There's like no refrigeration near that shit. They've got that some shit. ice underneath it. <laughs> That shit is just hanging what? out, bro. KFC has buffets? They look like they're having a great time, by the way. I kind of wish I was in their shoes. Uh, Imagine going to DQ with your bitty boo and having a nice uh, fucking dipped cone. Cotton candy. I and think you and yours could pull this, this type of podcast off. Yeah, I think so. Hold on. <laughs> KFC buffet? I don't believe it. Do they really? Oh, look at this. What? In Japan? Is this Japan only or uh, is this here? And oh, hold on. Last KFC buffet on Earth. All what? right, this is important. Now, I'm not really a big fan of KFC. I'm more of a Popeyes or other <laughs> really other see? fine chicken establishments. But are they pouring cheese over the fries like poutine? I think so. When I went to uh, the Comic Con in Toronto or TCAF, I yeah. got fucked up with the Comic Boys and Paul Pope, and nice. I was waxing philosophical, I drunk off my ass. Talking to Paul Pope about like Fantastic Four or something, eating poutine. <laughs> nice. I miss. I want to go back to Canada. I had a really good time in Toronto. Toronto's awesome. I gotta go. Who'd you go? You should with? go. I went with my friend Ham and Eric White, uh, and then nice. a bunch of other uh, comic artist dudes from there. You still talk to Eric White? I haven't talked to him in years at this point. I just yeah. kind of felt group part. I think he's basically out of the comic biz now, anyway. Yeah, I think he just does um, kids books. Really? This- y'all have y'all have some KFC buffets. I, why have I never heard of this in my life? This sounds did you know awful. about this, Derek? Did you know about no. this shit? <laughs> I stay as far away from KFC as possible. I've always been let down every time Damn. I've tried. To get a chance. I give them a chance every now and then. Usually, it's like, like KFC with like a combination like Long John Silvers. <laughs> I've always been skeeved out by Long John Silvers. I don't know what it is. I just I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you know what Long John Silvers was cool for. What? They used to do um they Yo. did the bat rolls toys for a little it's bit true. as a kid. It's true. So those are sick. I would go there for that. Uh I like the fish. The fish was pretty good. Try the Before fish. you knew like what fish actually is supposed to taste like. Yeah. Damn, all right. Well I gotta try out a KFC buffet. So what do they got? They got nachos, they got corn. The they cameraman got... is like, behind the fucking like what is he doing? You can't go back there. I love when they like these sort of guys go on the road and like they're probably carrying their stupid like camera with them. And uh, then no. like the people Every- in the crowd, this lady's like, What the fuck? And this lady's like, What the fuck? And this old guy's like, I'm just trying to eat a fucking thigh. <laughs> like what are you Who are these leave two me alone? Fucking- what are these fucking doing? idiots the rest of like morons here? <laughs> these fucking idiots with a sweatband on. What's this guy got a sweatband yeah, on? Why is this guy dressed like a ninja? <laughs> His problem. <laughs> yeah, he like Naruto. <laughs> It's like the worst Naruto character ever. Yeah. He's from the he's from the fat village, fat idiot village. Fat idiot village. <laughs> they did say they're gonna sell chicken skin at one point, dude. I would That's buy chicken. All I would buy got. chicken skin. Yeah, these guys are losers. They didn't even get that much. Losers, bro. Fill that plate up. Fill that fucking plate. <laughs> Look how many fucking people are in there. I would have. My plate would have been the size of my. This place is popping. This is like this. They just got. They just left church and went yeah. to the KFC buffet. Get this fucking nerd out of here, yo. This is making you angry. It's making you heated right now. <laughs> Look how much chicken is still on those bones. I hate watching white people. I hate watching people. Uh, no, I eat clean the bone, dude. I eat, almost eat too much of the chicken. I almost eat the bone. <laughs> I, eat the bone. Yeah, I pick that shit clean like a vulture. <laughs> yeah, you're you're so posty. These fucking schmucks. That's like, this is sinful. Hold on, I gotta rewind. This is making me fucking mad. Look how yo, much extra that's... chicken's still on there. And, and the skin, the skin's still on there. The fuck this is guy is a... Loser. These guys should be banned. They should not be allowed to eat fried chicken ever again. No. If you look across the date, if you're on a date with someone, you look across their, their fucking thing. And, and they're not they, inhaling they, the chicken bone. <laughs> yeah. If they're, not, if they're not picking their teeth with a chicken bone, then they're doing, you know, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> get out of my fucking life. Using a napkin, you know, to get, in a, get, the, get the little scraps yeah. out, out of your teeth. I want to go out eating. I want to go to KFC Buffy with these guys. Yeah, these guys are like, this guy's like, these guys didn't eat the whole chicken. <laughs> He's like, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> the like, old guy's like, this fucking idiots. What? <laughs> they were sitting at where that whole heap of chicken that's still over there. It's like, when you, are you guys going to finish that chicken over there? <laughs> yeah, they can't. Yeah, white people can't eat chicken. It's like, they, they don't know God, how to do it. What? 
I ate the, I don't know about you. I mean, me personally, I ate the whole, but, I ate almost, I feel like I'm eating too, like, I mean like the gristle and like the fat and shit. Yeah. I eat everything. I ate the gristle every time. Leave a bone. And eat every it. part of the animal, dude. That's, it was disrespectful if you don't eat the whole thing. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Look, also, Brian, look, look, at, look, everybody is looking at their plate. They're like, what the fuck? Look at this guy. He's like, are you kidding me? This guy looks like yeah. he saw like a, someone got murdered or something. <laughs> like he just witnessed a crime. He looks like someone just walked in with a Black Lives Matter sign. He's like, what the, <laughs> the fuck? fuck? <laughs> it's like, I'm just trying to enjoy my meal here. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, these guys suck. Damn, Maybe these guys we'll- are banned. They're never allowed in here again. Yeah, get these fucking schmucks out of here. All right, well, they're banned. They're not allowed in the state of... Where is this? It's got 60,000 views. They're not allowed in Saskatchewan anymore. That's, what is this? Saskatchewan? What the fuck not is that? There. You know, actually, KFC in Japan was popping. 7-Eleven and KFC in Japan are, like, actually top-tier establishments. Yeah, why? I, I don't understand the... They love the, the, they love the colonel. <laughs> they love the colonel in Japan. He's big in Japan. Look Ooh. at this shit that you get in KFC. Wee. Let's go. Wee. Five hour wait. Let's go. Wee. You know when it takes a long time to get yeah. food, you just spend like an extra hour eating your meal because you're like, I wait so fucking long to get my food. I'm oh, just gonna, I'm, I'm chilling out here. <laughs> they gotta rush you out of there too. I'm like, no, motherfucker. It's you like took two hours to get my shit. I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. <laughs> I'm making yeah, up for I'm lost chilling. time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you might as well just keep doing the fucking pound, <laughs> sweetie. I'm like, Keep Dalton. doing laps. More water, please. I'm thirsty. Yep. You Keep know what going. the penultimate? You know what you just said? That reminded me of something. I went what? to a Chinese buffet out in uh, Satterton with a friend years ago, yep. like in high school, and it's just some like hole in the wall Chinese buffet place. So I went there for lunch, and then like some dude was like he ate there, and we were eat there, and we we're just about like during the course of the time he was just like, just like. Mm. Passed sleeping out. he passed out at the fucking buffet and they tried to wake him up and like politely shoo him out and he's like no i'm good i'm just waiting for dinner and he's literally waiting for his next meal with one payment <laughs> he's taking oh, he was oh. taking advantage of the buffet system yeah they and it wasn't like he was doing work or anything important there it was by himself at a buffet for lunch and then sleeping <laughs> until he got his what? dinner buffet dinner <laughs> what yeah, he's like i'm just waiting for the next round it's like oh, i'll, I'll wake awesome. up later that's pretty sad too. I'd be like, damn, that's pretty depressing. No yeah, that's pretty depressing, bro. But it's also awesome at the same time. That's pretty great. That's a, <laughs> that's a way to work the system for sure. You know what's funny in Japan? Uh, we treat you know we treat anime here. That's yeah. like Charlie Brown is anime in Japan, or like <laughs> Mickey Mouse is anime in Japan. <laughs> that's the equivalent. I'm serious. Yeah. Like Woodstock and Snoopy are like counterculture. Like Mickey Mouse is like counterculture. It's like you go to the grocery store with a JoJo shirt and people look at you sideways in Japan. It's like, well, you got a fucking uh, uh, Snoopy shirt on? You're cool as shit. Is that Uniqlo edition? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like, ten, if you wear, like, wear a Tin Tin shirt? Okay. Forget it. That, that makes way more sense why you. All right, this guy needs to get to the fucking to- buffet Uniqlo already. Uniqlo was throwing hard like a couple months ago with like peanut stuff. I love peanuts. All right, I mean, let's I see. I'm not going to wear that shit. You know, it's funny. You told me that one time where people were like, gosh, what was it? They're <laughs> the Korean, uh, like, uh, what is it called? Yeah, we eat like we eat like a shit ton of food by yourself. The worst and it's just because they're alone. They're because they're lonely. It's like, man, that's depressing, <laughs> but delicious. Oh, I took a girl on a date there. She wanted to go there. And I was like, I, I got so depressed on that. At date. Where? We went to like this Chinese buffet in West Philly that she was like super stoked about. That was oh, yeah. Weird. That looks pretty good. What's that? <laughs> it's making me so hungry. I haven't eaten like a slob in a while. <laughs> My man is picking this shit apart. He's eating soul food with uh, chopsticks. That's awesome. Yeah, man. It's big in Japan. Big it better than me. A better man. Can't find a burger. I feel really bad, too, because I, I didn't. Oh, man, that was when I, I, I knew that we weren't going to last long after that date. It didn't work out. <laughs> and she was so stoked. She was like, I can't believe we're doing this. Like, I'm so excited. And we got there, and she was like, I'm going to steal food. I was like, why are you going to steal? I was like, this food sucks, yo. Like, this terrible. Shout out to Kelly, though. She was cool peoples. Shout out to Kelly. Yeah. Well, let's see here. <laughs> I was in a different think... place. In my life. It was a different place in my life at the time. I was very depressed when we started dating. 
So. Very well. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up the pace. Well, uh, wow, Dr. Pepper Zero, cream soda, cherry, and original. All right. Well, that's enough, I think. <laughs> I think that's enough. Hopefully she shook his just to kind of like wake him up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I think he's almost a little too awake. She drops like a, uh, a Mentos in his. <laughs> Jeez, that's just mean. <laughs> oh, man. Have all you ever right. Seen- you know, like it's like a bunch of Japanese dudes in a car, and like they're all like yelling at each other in Japanese, and they start putting mintos and all their stuff. And just... <laughs> no, <laughs> he's talking about. I gotta find this video. Hold on. All right, let's end on this Japanese uh, video. It's like, let me see if I can find it real quick. It's like Japanese mintos, yeah. There in car, is. mintos, go car. car. What have you heard of this? <laughs> <laughs> what how the fuck did you? This is a TikTok. Yeah. Oh um, my god. Like the. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> TikTok, tock everybody oh god <laughs> wow <laughs> this poor bastard it looks like he's vomiting or something. <laughs> yeah. it looks like uh every like 90s metal music video would have this <laughs> Like it's like Soundgarden or something. Yeah. Dude, I would kill my friend if they did some shit like this. While you were looking away? It's like, take oh that. What did you do if you did this in your car and just did that to <laughs> you? Oh, man. So his first instinct was to put it in his fucking face. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. That's so much Coca-Cola. <laughs> Oh, this is why I don't God. drink soda, so if someone doesn't do this to me by accident, or not by accident, Dude, someone tries to play a trick on at, me. Look at how clean that car looks, too. That's like a rent. That has to be a rental. This is a rent, definitely a rental car. Oh, my God. <laughs> Try it. I Jeez. like how it just cuts Fuck. to the dude in the back seat, and he's already just, like, in it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, God. All right, well, <laughs> I kind of want to watch this scene. This guy this looks like a... Yeah, I worked at the comedy. It could just have a shirt. Doesn't mean anything. I hope he's funny. All right, I get it, dude. No, no. There's not wine then. I promise. Oh, he's going to prank him. Oh, this is staged. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Got him. Got him. He's about to fuck him up with impunity. Guys, I just got beat up with an inch of my life. <laughs> like, follow, and subscribe. Guys, I'm currently <laughs> guys. I'm an ICU. Please help. Please send donations. I, I hope you like my mental spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I think yep. that about wraps it up for tonight. Thank you, everyone who watched, <clears throat> who are here and not here, and we're here and could be here. Everybody who twisted their nose for uh everyone who twisted their nose the right way, like Nemesis, they went yeah from this your shit. to this, your fix shit. your shit, and get your you can't smell anything like this. That's right. Turn Sniff your nose a whole sideways. Bag, yo, get it like that. Um uh. <laughs> no wonder Nemesis is mad or turned up. Right. Nemesis is going wild. This guy's hair is crazy. What I know. Fuck? I wonder how he gets his hair ready in the morning. But anyway. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just that was, uh, fuck this uh, guy man. <laughs> hi everyone have a good night I'll be streaming later this weekend I'll catch you all then you're you're peace